But here we go. Hey, everybody. We are here today with a very big, big <laughs> group of people. Um, big in the fact of what they do. Love what they do. We have David, baby Jimmy here. We have Josh X with our Patricia. And we have Santos and, of course, myself. So hello, everybody. Good evening. Good day. Hey, guys. Hello. Good evening. What, what? Hey. And, yep. Santos is mo moving around. So, how long are you in? How long are you there for, then, Santos? Uh, it's not settled yet, but uh, probably till the 18th. Then I'll go to Mexico to Cancun, and then I'll go back to Oregon. After that, probably at the end of this month. Yeah. Yeah, you're very nice. Very nice indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been great. Anyway, what a great bunch of women here. And ladies, of course, me and Patricia, but a lot of etymology people here today. Men and women. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, is there anything, as you haven't met Santos before, is there anything you'd like to ask Santos as he's here? Just as long that, as long as he's okay. I just wanted to ask him if he's balanced and happy and... That's all I'd like to know. Are you happy and balanced, Santos? Yep. Lovely. It's As... nice to have you. Nice to meet you, mate. I know we've had a little <laughs> chat before, but again, hi. Nice to meet you again, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. What would everybody like to talk about today? Because obviously we had such big um, chats with Santos. Lauren. He was doing like a presentation, but he's not doing one today. He's here just to have a, a hangout. Let's have a nice conversation, slowly reveal the secrets of the multiverse while we have it, shall we? <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to personally, now because, because we have Santos on the chat, I'd like to touch across this chat some phonics and, and some etymology and just share something that's uh, sort of poured out within and, and see if we can bring to light, you know, something new, you know, as a family, you know, rather than just individuals. So, um... Yeah, I'd like to touch that, so I'd just like to put that out there. Yeah, go on then, Josh. Santos is listening. It's, uh, I just wanted to flow into it as we were conversating. But, um, I mean, Dave, have you got anything you wanted to chat about, a subject or anything we could do? Um, or should we just roll in with the uh, etymology to start with? Um, number, yeah, I've got a little bit. I've just um, amassed a, a few things. But firstly, can I just say that I regard um, Karen... Santos, yourself, Josh, Patricia, um, highly um, astute and uh, conscious, uh, you know, sentient beings. And I'm very just to want to say uh, for the scribes listening, um, I am I am humbled and honoured to be here. Um, I'm ecstatic and I'm calm and I'm I'm, uh, I'm finding my emotional intelligence. And uh, I'm going to bring some uh, some bits of what uh, you all have helped me um, transform into um, in some ways. But I honour and respect and love you all and uh, I know we've got busy lives and uh, we've got uh, Costa Rica over there with Brother S and uh, it's costing a bomb over here with Brexit and you know uh, just one love, respect and thank you. I'm humbled and honoured. Santos, it's good to see you and um, we'll, we'll pick up hopefully um, another time but uh, I just wanted to say that to you all firstly. All right. I have to say Santos that's very nicely put David thank you. Santos you are looking very well I have to say Mm hmm Which is good. Um, and then... I suppose that... Oh, God, sorry, Santos, off to you. That's it. Just thank you. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't got a woolly hat on. Ah! I often saw you in a so hat. Hot. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, okay, then. Yeah, I think we're all a bit we're all a bit in awe. We've got Santos on here. That's what it is, isn't it? Because we're not usually this quiet. Well, I have just a little more to say. A couple of minutes here. We're a message to Santos um, and uh, something that I'd like us to to consider um, doing if we can whilst we're on this uh, this cast this podcast and uh, some information due to the the season. So I've said thank you and and uh, you know I'm honoured to be here and uh, you've each got. Um, you know, something in that. And I was saying to Josh uh, the other day about um, synchronicity, vibration, universe, um, faith, hope, harmony, Jesus, Christ, uh, Christmas, etc. And uh, 
Um, we've got brother, the brothers here and yourself, um, names wise, calling wise. We've got, um, you know, I'll start with the with the man himself, the uh, the godfather of history, as I like to call him, Brother Esler Santos of the House of Bonacci. Now, um, you've covered many topics and you're a wise intellectual mind, um, you know, a mentor of mine by proxy. And Bonacci will fit into Fibonacci. Um, and, and I like that. We're, Phonics and Josh and I and uh, where we go and what we've done. We've got Josh there. He's he's part of a tree, Santos. You don't you know you'll just meet him today. But he's a wealth. He's a he's an intellect of uh, phonics and science and maths and gematria. Um, a wealth of uh, he rhymes. He's got a lyrical. He's a like a lyrical assassin. His uh, his agility in the phonetical <laughs> mental dexterity is uh, is second to none there. So that's Joshua. He's like a tree, a tree of information. He helps me focus and we, we do bounce rather well in the private together so we've got uh, the Fibonacci Bonacci Fibonacci house and the Joshua X Joshua tree myself Jeremita yeah. <laughs> is is the gematria um numbers and, and weirdness and synchronicities and triple one kings one eleven um Solomon's temple um Santos brother you did confuse me and take me down a path uh, along with many thousands of others across the realm but I come to you today at this time of year, I'm getting to the end, I'm wrapping up, uh, and uh, I come, okay, brother, I come with Jesus, and I come as Christ. This is a miracle for me to say, I hope, you, I hope this is correct, I think it is. I'm at the end of a massive journey, and um, coming with Jesus as Christ, um, with the with the uh, synchronicities and the phonics that are in play at the minute, is, uh, you know, I think us three being together, our work, the lines that we do, I just want to give you a boost, because... Um, I'm uh, I'm seeing things of great uh, you know great synchronicity and positivity and uh, what we do and how we do it and taking time out um, great things are happening fam and uh, I'll bring some more to you later like, I'm going to yield now and let you you comment but thank you and uh, good on us <laughs> lovely mate yeah that was very nice for Josh and um, yeah. Santos, he was waiting for an answer from you from that. <laughs> oh, I thought it was uh, Joshua. Sorry. Um, yeah, thanks, David. You, you, you're right on it with your, uh, with your uh, syncretism in um, sovereignty and everything like that. So it's great to see in other people when you see that your, uh, your own way of seeing things etymologically and... Uh, mentally and spiritually uh, are, are there in other people, you know, it makes it real. It makes it uh, like a community, a family, like you say, you know. And so, uh, yeah, it's great to be in hangouts like this where we can get inspired by each other. That's how it works. You know, I just, uh, you know, I just want to say bounce back. That it, it has confused a lot of us what you put out there and how it's been put out there. And uh, we, um, I, Josh, others, you know, some are following uh, you more intensively than others and others as well and uh, you've you've been out there a long time so this this is why i'm next going to mention what i'm going to mention is that i can stand and testify and uh, and get the, the point across of uh, of of whom i uh, you know understand i am and uh, the, the governance of it's not so much sovereignty um self-initiate self-governing mastery um conscionable actions in the in the realm of which is the faith the hope, the harmony. And at this time of year, um, we have a lot of pressure around the realm, you know, with ones in finance. And this time, this story of Christmas and uh, the 33, the vertebrae, and uh, the stories you've put out and what we've done, we've listened, we've researched, we've gone back, Josh, I, others, and uh, we, we understand, we overstand, we king stand, and we're going to take this message out this season um, you know this 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 festival that masquerades as a Christian festival. It may have some pagan origins, and you know we're, we're giving time, energy, and love into something which is dead. And um, we call it a vampiristic relationship. Um, and we're going to give the light and the love back, and uh, a, a true story. And uh, this story, um, I hope uh, you know it, it will ring true. And others are, are hearing this, and they're saying to me to tell you to say thank you if he's looking well. And he is well because it's offline. Make sure he feels the love, Dave. Tell him he's a legend and he's helped out amazingly with this story, the Bible, and the, you know the synchronicities, the the maths, all that you've taught. And we have picked up, and we're ready to give out this Christmas. Um, home invasions are they warranted? 
you know, that's a play on words, warranted, i.e. correct paperwork, and do they have the correct uh, backup, you know, uh, moral morality-wise, are they warranted? You know, what have we let, What you know, these wars we've had. So we're on a good position, we're in a good place, and if you're strong and healthy, Ruan, I've got messages for you to say, you know, lots of love, thank you, and we have got on top of the situation uh, in many ways, and uh, um, it's an honour to... Uh, so to see you well, you know, more than one and travelling. And uh, Josh X is, uh, has got a bit to introduce to you. I'm sure you're going to love him. I'm going to yield and say, we're on it and we're at the end of the road. And uh, as long if you're healthy and strong, we're a, we're a, hot, we're a happy, strong family. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we yield. Love, mate. Love. <laughs> is there anything anybody wants to say or shall I just I think that with... means you, you next, Josh. Yeah? No, right. you... Okay, I think Santos so, is listening at the moment, so yeah, yep. go for it. Cool. Well, if if nobody knows kind of what I've sort of discovered or, or found, um, I've basically found some amazing synchronicities with uh, our language, uh, numbers and letters. And I kind of decoded a, a, a language that I've never seen before. Um, and it's allowed me to reveal secrets of this universe and multiverse. Uh, to an extent that I've I've never really seen. Um, so while I've got you on here, Santos, and while we're all together, I'd really like to share um, a few things that might spark you. Might, they might not. You you might already know. Um, but it's an amazing technology. I think we've all heard of Parse Syntex Grammar, how that quantum language was able to squash contract law. Um, this language that I've discovered is actually instructions, and it instructs you what to do. Um, it reveals the truth in a forwards, backwards and intertwined type of manner. Um, and there's no way to run from it. So um, I'm just going to start off with um, maybe just talking about the ox. Um, so in our language, I'm just going to bring up my whiteboard in front of me a quick because it's better if I write it down in front of people so they can see. Um, we can't see, we can only see your icon. You will be getting it now. Can you see now? Oh, there, there you go, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. so, so, so David's top um, made me uh, think of the word Babylon, yeah. and I thought I'd just write it up here. Um, obviously, we hear Babylon, and we think it, it's, it's um, you know, something evil or something great and evil. Um, but hidden in the language or hidden in the phonics of the word, you'll see be able on. Now... Babylon's system here is to actually enable us or to turn us on or to be able. Um, and the words are hidden and the phonics is hidden within this, just like the Kabbalah. So the Kabbalah, you see able. And whether it's spelt with a K or a Q, um, it's kind of really meaning the same thing. Okay, K, K, K. So anyway, I'm just going to rub this off. And then uh, I'll start with the ox, because this is very, very interesting. Josh. We've been given the box. Now, the box is telling us and we the ox. And if we open up our box, it folds up into the, the cross, which is the Christ consciousness, an unfolded cube. So within this box, there are so many synchronicities that I really want to share. Um, so I'm just going to start off uh, sharing these synchronicities. So... The ox, if we look at this earth sign, can everybody see the earth sign? Mm -hmm. Hidden in this sign, we see the ox. Okay. Now, in the language that I've revealed, the O represents a void, a feminine void, and the X represents a perfect balance. This is why X will mark the spot. Because in between the masculine and feminine, you'll get a dipolar state. Now, this di is the spot, okay? So we have something called the equinox. Equinox. Now, this is about the equal, equaling the ox. But we have nox. And nox is the night of Pan. Is anybody aware of the night of Pan, Alistair Crowley work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the night of Pan. Um, if nobody is aware of the Night of Pan, it, it basically represents the duality um, realm we exist in, uh, the experience we're having right now. So this ox is tied to the bull, okay? 
and the ball. So within these two words, you'll see be all and be your. We also have the word Taurus and Taurus associated with these. So if I just break these words down in the language that I've discovered, T is a physical, A you represent gold, but A is the alpha and U is you. So we have R which represents 18, but this means like a full magnetic, okay? And this is U and this is a sine wave. So the Taurus is a physical, golden, full magnetic U sine wave. A torus is a physical vibration, a full magnetic U sine wave. Okay, now, if you reverse this and backwards, you'll always reveal the truth no matter what's going on in the language and you'll find out what the word means and if it is something that we should be using. Um, just need to rub this away quickly because I know this is a bit slapdash, but we'll get somewhere in a minute. So I'm talking about the ball um, and within life we have synchronicity. So we have something called the ball's arena. Now, there's another thing called a ballerina, but you'll see the way it's spelt and the way the phonics is and it's to do with the ball arena again. So these ballerinas have something to do with music. Now, the music that we need to understand in the reality, I just want to write the word disco down. Because in the word disco, we see di, sine wave, and co. So the word disco is like basically joining the sine wave of di. And this is why you have and make certain shapes and create certain energies within the, the disco movement. Um, we also have dance. Now, D is the fourth letter in the alphabet, which represents form. That's why it's spelled F-O-R-U-R. F represents matter, it's the number six, and O-U-R is R, so we have our matter from four. But within the word dance, we see a form of ons. Now, this ons is basically the vibration that we carry or can be carried within this multiverse. So when we speak, we have sent onses. And the most important important thing in the multiverse is to have balance. Balance. But this is balance. And if you look at the synchronicity with the word ambulance is am, bull, ons. But the bull and the ball are interchangeable. So an ambulance is literally saying that it's ambalance and they give us the blue shift to try and balance out the red shift in this realm. So there's no synchronicities that cannot be revealed through this language. We also have this language given to us and it's called the, uh, basically the Oxford Dictionary. Dictionary is di, c, physical ions or diction is. And this dipolar state is perfect balance, which is the key to, to this realm and the Kabbalah and the Kabbala. Um, but O is a vibration or the void in perfect balance. Now a ford in a river stops the flow of water. So the Oxford Dictionary is actually stopping the flow or the current flow of information to ourselves in this paradigm. So there is a restriction with the language and the phonics. And we've been given our definitions um, within that dictionary for definitions. You haven't been able to see the phonics as hidden within. I just wanna rub this off. I'm so sorry about the presentation here. I didn't really wanna be holding this and making it look a mess but if I look if we look at disco tech you'll see disco the Q now this Q is very important and it did take me a long time to discover what this Q was um, we have things like the Queen we have free Q mm, C I know it's not in this word, but it's another beautiful word. The significance of life is if the signs, if we can see them and they're all hidden in plain sight. So this Q, I've recently found out, if you look at the Phoenician Q, it's a, it's a zero and a one meeting. So it's representing perfect balance. The same as the K, 
and the same as the C, because the C in our language represents the Trinity as it's the third letter, and the K represents 11, which is obviously L even, which means balancing out to become L or evening out to become L. So there's a reason why the Kabbalah can be spelt with a K. Um, excuse the spelling. Um, the Kabbalah is actually the K Abela. Or you can change it to the C or the Q. Now, Q, C and K basically represent perfect balance. So the Kabbalah is something which literally allows your physical body to find perfect balance. The K represents balance, not only because it says L even, but because if you turn it 90 degrees, you'll see a masculine and a feminine V in the middle trying to balance itself on that line. So hidden within the symbol is the truth. Um, I find it very hard talking um, without questions and things like this, because I do lose my trail of thought. But is there anything we can flow with? And then I can start interjecting with this because it goes so deep and it takes many, many years. I mean, it's taken me about three years in my own thought processes, disconnecting from learning. Just example, as we're speaking, you see the word learn. You'll see L earn. Now, what we should be learning is the instruction in there is to earn L. And L is 12. So a bit of synchronicity for the number 12, you'll see that 11, once we've balanced out ourselves, L even, we become 12. Now you see the TW together. That represents twining or two or twin. And that's where the word twin is a physical T win. Because we must twin ourselves or twine the Kundalini to activate our higher consciousness or perfectly balance out our states of matter, which is a positive and negative, a red or a blue, a hot or a cold, to become this dipolar state. And as Bruce Lee said, to learn to die is to be liberated from death. So there's something within everything for us to see because we are in 100% a matrix. And also, when I was talking about the ox, quickly, I want to just share this as well. So you'll see a cube, and hidden in the word cube, it says C-U-B, or the Q-B. And the square is the S-Q-U-R. So you're a square. And I remember seeing this word and thinking, how are we squares? And then I found a little verse from Alistair Crowley saying, I'm the finite square, I need to be circled, you know. Um, so these synchronicities here have been left by the Phoenicians for us to all basically find. And then when I found the Q, I realized it was balance. It's all about balance. Um, seance or science is the true science, which is how we say our answers. So everything is pronunciation and within as without. And another big um synchronicity with language that was kind of uh revealing to me was the rat race because everybody says they're in a rat race yeah well this has been left for us in the matrix now rats backwards reveals star okay and if you look at the word star you'll see a sine wave of the physical r which is where we are. Our sign with the physical comes from the stars. But if we reverse this language to reveal the truth, you will see Ra, T. Now this T represents physical. So you'll see Ra in the physical, which is a rat. Now race, you'll see Ra, C, E. Now C is obviously seeing or sight or can represent the Trinity, but all three of them need to happen for perception, inception. Now, we have the E, which is the fifth number of the alphabet, which represents ether or the quintessence. So you'll see that the rat race we're actually in is the Ra physical, so the physical sun. And then you'll have the Ra seeing ether. So the physical sun needs to see ether, basically it's hidden within this rat race. And then if you look at the words backwards, you'll see the ether seeing a full magnetic physical alpha, full magnetic sign. So... I know it might not make sense to people right now because it's kind of within me, but this is basically saying how to become double light or you need to become double light. We've been given keys like the Zodiac. So we need to discover 
just quickly, you see the word discover, you'll see thy sine wave cover. And in the word cover, you'll see over. So something seeing over something covers something. So what we need to discover is hidden in the word, and this is the die sine wave. And I started off saying a word before the discovery, and I forgot what it was. I think it was the zodiac. So if I break down the word zodiac, you'll see the Z. Now we have longitudinal waves, A. Sorry, latitudinal waves and longitudinal waves, and this is magnetism. And the alphabet represents that, and everything in between is life. So the Z represents the longitudinal wave. So we have the longitudinal wave of the void or vibration of die, the alpha, will see. And also, just another hint with the Z, you'll see Zion. And we know Zion is the holy place, but the Zion is this wave, ions. And at the moment, we're on the alpha or the latitudinal wave and we need to vibrate and pick up the mother's wave which is the z ion z also represents tree in language as well so you'll see how this is all connected and it does take time but it's so incredible how everything in the life is completely synchronized um and i've really discovered a, a form of language that cannot lie to us it reveals the truth to us and we can uncode anything. And I'd quickly like to add this. When we were going on about the, um, the ox, the Oxford Dictionary, the box being an ox, the bull, the Bible, um, the Taurus, and these are all synchronized. Um, and also we've been given a bell, and the bell is on every church, and it basically says to be L, and L is 12, which is perfect balance. Everybody's had this game when we were little, yeah? Noughts and crosses. Hugs and kisses, okay? Quickly. Ending the gold, God, vibration of the physical. The reason why H is vibration, because it represents A, okay? Now, A is after seven. Seven is the sine wave that's even, which represents all the colors of light. Now, once we've passed seven, we become eight, which is light, because it's spelled exactly the same. Eight is the ether, feminine, God's vibration in the physical, which basically represents light. And you remove the E and you'll see the L, which represents this. So hidden in noughts and crosses is two things. This is why Jesus put himself on the cross, because this is seeing the full magnetic void vibration. And this is when we create double light. But noughts and crosses, look what's hidden in this, this symbol. I'm going to just do it this way around. Okay? So we're playing noughts and crosses right now, but hidden in our world, we have absolutely everything we need to, to escape the world or to leave the world and to die. Not death, but to die. Just going to thicken them up. There's one light from Taurus Mathematics. Is everybody aware of this? Symbol, the VW, without the three, six, and nine, because they're numbers that aren't actually real or tangible, let's say. And then we also have another one, the opposite. So in the word noughts and crosses, you'll see ending the gold god vibration of the physical to see the full magnetic vibration double sine waves. Now this G represents seven, which is Ra, or the realm that we're projected from right now. So you'll see... VW sign or the vortex mathematics flipped twice within this game of noughts and crosses that we've been playing. So I'd like to just leave it there and maybe just interject because I know it's a bit off key, but um, I've just found so many synchronicities with everything and I'd like to, uh, to investigate with some of these fellow beings. And you're all very unique. And there's the unique you. The one Q and the Q represents this Phoenician perfect balance as the Q, K and C does. I'm chilling now. Lots of respect to you all. And I'm sorry it was a bit slapdash, but uh, I lost my train of thought when I was on the camera holding it, guys. So, uh, yes. Is there anything anybody would like to ask, say or hear? 
Well, thank you very much for that, Josh. But um, Santos took his microphone off a while ago, so I think he's probably got something to say. Uh, mine's on. Yeah, that was great, Joshua. Beautiful, brother. Thank you. Wonderful. Very well done. And uh, essentially what you're doing is the monosyllabic original language of humanity. It's, uh, you understand it. You know, that's, that's the good thing. When you understand the monosyllabic original atom. Brilliant. So even the word atom is language. a physical vibration of the mother. You see that? The mm -hmm. alpha physical vibration of the mother and backwards we have it sanskrit which is the truth which is mother and i just want to share this because it popped into my head sorry to uh bring it but if there was one transformation here this instructed within this word now the transformation is a physical sun ending the sine wave for the mother's physical ions does everybody see that yeah yeah, and I mean, we've had things in our language, just like Noah's Ark, for example. We say Noah's Ark, but really, it's the knowers, as in knowledge. And this is what we need to do. We need to build our temple up to acquire a certain level of knowledge and perception, and then go within, within that, find perfect balance, restore ourselves, thus restoring the world. And this is what we plan to do. Beautiful, Josh. Beautiful. Can I just say one thing at this moment that Charlie's joined us on the Hangout now? Hi, guys. Can uh, everyone hear me okay? Charlie? Perfect. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yeah, we're all good? Yep. Okay. Uh, just a quick comment on the, on the um, uh, transformations and the, then an example of, uh, of Noah. A everything is about knowing. And uh, what I'd like to just um, put out there, remind everyone, is that when you're out in the truth community, you really need to, um, you know, caveat emptor, buyer beware, because uh, very, very, very few, very few people uh, are interested at all in any kind of gnosis or knowing. And what you have, those that, that seem to have the greatest amount of subscribers and followers and, um, you know, massive operations are the ones that give a little bit of truth, no answers whatsoever. And that's bullshit. And the time for bullshit is over. What we need is holistic truth. And holistic truth is knowing, not believing. It is knowing. And gnosis is knowing, and it is time uh, for the people out there to take control of their lives by saying no to those that are giving bits and pieces of the truth. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you some examples. The biggest names that are out there, David Icke and Jordan Maxwell and Max Egan, they're all interested in, in having lots of subscribers and giving little, little bits of truth, but they're not interested in any kind of holistic gnosis and that's what i love about santos that's what i love about karen in this show uh and you know a few people like eric dubay who are out there <clears throat> uh they are interested in a holistic understanding and if you're not get the hell out of this business because th th we're late in the game and what we need is truth and and let me throw this out there you're talking about words and etymology how about the strongest word in the history of words? Trust, which holds everything together, which is, which is trust in God, which is truth. Trust, trust, truth. That is the strongest words, and it holds everything up. Because once you have absolute trust and knowingness in the Holy Father, you you are the strongest creation that exists because the entire weight of this material world is taken off of your shoulders and put on to the everlasting shoulders of the father trust trust truth sorry for all of that guys but uh i just loved what i was hearing from you beautiful thank you very much mate it's very correct as well well josh and david haven't met you before so josh and, da and david Charlie, uh, obviously Santos knows Charlie very well, so 
yeah it's Anton snows us all <laughs> good to meet you mate good to meet you did you want to carry on then josh do you have something else to say because you're right no just every there. honestly like every time someone speaks like i decode everything and i want to share it so it's pointless me interjecting all the time but you can see within the truth and the trust that he was saying it's a physical full magnetic you physical vibration the physical full magnetic you sign with the physical so within truth and trust it's all about you becoming the full magnetic double taurus so you really need to work this is all it's about and everything always goes back to this so I will yield and um, yeah, I just have so much to share, you know, like when he said no, you see the K now, now to know is actually to live in the now and the K is the mind or perfect balance represent L even. Now, if you say it backwards, it says you've won the K. Now you've won balance and that's when you know. So it's just hidden within absolutely everything. So I'll see if everybody else wants to say something and then maybe later on I can uh, interject with the seat. Yeah, I've got uh, to roll on the back of that and with what uh, the new brothers just said there is uh, Gnosis and Knowing, um, December, festival time and uh, what we celebrate or what we have celebrated and uh, the things, the, you know, the tidings and the, the, the etymology behind it and then the cross, Jesus being, you know, Brother Santos brought to me um, the works of Josephus. I've never heard of him. I'm an Englishman. It's quite knowledgeable, but not that knowledgeable. And uh, I looked at it. I found Joseph at will. I found all of the uh, the, the, the Roman, uh, you know, uh, Caesars. And um, I've correlated quite a lot. And uh, on the back of this festive period that we have, I think that, is it Charlie, the new one? Who's the new um, brother that just joined? Yeah, Charlie Free. Charlie, I'm David. Pleased to meet you. I, I'm called David. And, uh, Hi, nice David. Um, at this time of year, our, our innovation is brought to us out of desperation. We're not educated, we're schooled and we're fooled. And over here, we're under attack. So we've had to learn not to be repeating history and expecting a different result because that in itself is the definition of insanity. And we have a lot of information articulate to ourselves that used correctly with the, you know, uh, alchemic. We're becoming alchemists of the mind, if I may say so. And um, Jesus Christ being a fictional character, um, Santos has done a lot of the groundwork and then we've come along and we've helped um, correlate and separate and further work because this isn't one man who's got the family effort and there's an Old Testament, a New Testament and the KJV and then the pre-Christian Gnosis and the Numa Elish, you know, we've had a Kurdish farmer find the greatest discovery, um, Gobekli Tepe, was found allegedly, I think, by a Kurdish farmer, not by academic institutions. So knowing and knowledge comes from us and comes from man. This story about the vertebrae, the, the consciousness, the Kundalini, what Josh has got here and what you may know, I don't know what you've got to bring to the table, brother, but we're almost on the cusp of either a second coming or a golden age. Um, 2020 vision is right there. Um, I yield. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thy sine wave ion, mate. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I, I, I'm instantly in love with uh, with this conversation. So so thank you to to everyone for for your level of of knowing. Because um, uh, I, again, sad to say, uh, most of our day is taken up with with fools. And um, I, I can say that because I, I spent most of my life uh, a fool, uh, but not anymore. And uh, the word it, tells you what you need to look at. If you see the word fool, you'll see F, you'll see two I's in the middle, and you'll see L. F represents six, which is material matter. F, 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 in phonics, you have PH, which represents light, photons, phantoms, and the F represents matter for man. So, like, if you look at the word, let's say, fat, you'll see F at, or farm, is to arm the F, which is our matter. That's why we farm. But if you look at the word fool, you'll see the F, needs to look at l okay and this is how it's all been hidden in front of our eyes through an amazing symbolism and it's really really absolutely incredible so uh yeah sorry to cut in i just wanted to share that as well there's instructions in every single word for us okay word backwards is draw <laughs> And then this is war with our form. So unless we know how to use our words 
it's probably best we don't use them. <laughs> anyway, I yield, sorry. Oh, that's brilliant. That again is brilliant. I'll give you some synchronicities. You'll see book, right? B represents two or just the B, looking at the K. When you look, where should you be looking? At the K. When you seek, where should you be seeking? You should be seeing the K. We know that D is form as a synchronicity for the C. So when you need to plant a seed, you shall see form. D is four, which represents form. Hence why it's written in the word and form is a form of the mother. And four is the matter of our, our matter. Again, that's brilliant. Yep. Wonderful. It, it's just every single word, guys. And um, I don't really know where to go with this. I just feel like one day I will write a new dictionary that isn't a ox ford. It's for the ox. <laughs> Oh, and I love that too. Wow. I love that too. Yeah. Um, Everything's I, hidden. I'm not sure where the, the, the conversation uh, originated with or, or where it's gone, but one of the things that, um, uh, that David was talking about again at, at this uh, festive, <laughs> festive time of, of the season, um, I, I think, uh, again, what's worth mentioning is this massive misunderstanding of what uh, Christianity uh, and being a Christian is and where Christianity originated. So uh, if, if I may just briefly here, uh, a reminder to everyone that, that Christianity is decoding the night sky. And the first, as, as far as I'm aware, through Santos's teachings, uh, that decoded the night sky was Zoroaster and uh, the the teachings of, of Zoroaster with uh, Zarazuka, the, the, the Jesus Christ of that culture, and Ahuya Mazda, the God of that culture, um, is, is the base of Christianity. And, and Christianity is, is very basic of what we were, what we are, where we need to be. And so what we were was perfection in the Garden of Eden in the east or right-hand side of the garden, um, eating from the tree of life in absolute perfection, hand in hand, the number 11, hand in hand with, with the Father until we were tempted, tempted to taste of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is over in the left or western portion of the Garden of Eden. Here's the deal, folks. This is Christianity in a nutshell. When we taste of the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we fall. And once you fall, you fall and you can't take it back. You can't say, oh, dear father, I made a mistake. Just whoop, pull me right back up. Once you fall, you create the, the ultimate polarity that Santos talks about so beautifully, so well. The, the, the illusory uh, world of the Maya, where everything is a polarity and we are gifted free will. And this becomes the basis of where we find ourselves right now. So there are, there are two concepts that must be fully understood to explain where we were, where we are, and where we need to get to. God consciousness, Christ consciousness. God consciousness where we were in the eastern portion of the Garden of Eden with God. We have now fallen into Maya, the, the material plane, and we have to get back. This is the journey is Christ consciousness. And as Santos, uh, nobody knows this as, as well as Santos does. And that is that, that if, if there's really a word to fully understand and describe Christ and Christ consciousness, Christ Jesus, is alkalinity. 
And until we understand this, until we go through the transformation from acidic creatures of death going around and around and around and around and around and around and around this illusory wheel of materialistic life, um, until we say no to acidosis and acidity and say yes to life, which is alkalinity, then we will not understand, we will not become Christ consciousness and we will not ascend via the Kundalini. And that's our purpose. That's why we're here. We must ascend back up. We have fallen from the Garden of Eden and now we have to climb our way back up. Electricity won't get you. It won't get you there. Magnetism will. So we have to stop worshiping upon the, the false moon goddess of sin, the false Mary for the righteous, white, pure Mary of the earth. And we need to ascend via the kundalini magnetic energy, these beautiful transverse, uh, or sorry, these uh, beautiful scalar, scalar eternal longitudinal waves, some called Tesla waves that are eternal and will take us up back into heaven upon earth. And the only way you get there are through the four rivers of the Garden of Eden. And that is the urine, ur, or gold, our blood. And if you know anything about our blood, it has to be alkaline. Uh, our saliva, salvation, sal, salt. Again, alkalinity, the definition thereof. And uh, and then, of course, the, the CSF, some call the cerebral spinal fluid, I call the Christ salvation fluid, which incorporates both the chrism oil and our semen, not the sperm. You're right when people say that women don't have sperm. That's right. But they do have semen. We have semen. And hmm. our needs to flow upwards up the CSF and back home as an ultimate expression of alkalinity to take us back to the Garden of Eden. It's the only way we have fallen and the only way for us to get back home at the right hand side of God is up righteous, up righteousness, up and to the right. And that is kundalini magnetic energy and it requires alkalinity alkalinity life acidity death and i'll stop there sorry for that little that little rant but at this festive time of the season it, it's something to talk about nice that was really nice mate thank you can i just awesome. say something does, does, does everybody hear all the right does, josh takes over my i can only hear josh really i was just wondering josh um, when you're not talking, because I'm recording it, would you just turn your microphone off when you're not talking? Absolutely. It's just, no I don't know. It's just uh, your, your I think it's, camera. I think it's your thing, on my... thing, but I can hear I'm everything. really sorry, my darling. Anyway, you're going to talk now, aren't you? Also... No, I was just going to say that was awesome, and I just wanted to throw a few synchronicities in. I wrote the words down that You've he was quite saying. quite a lot on that piece of paper, and uh, it's a very, very deep talk already, guys. So I just have a few things I'll reveal. You said salt, and in salt you'll see the same wave of all physical or the same wave of the alpha god in physical. Gold is the goal of form. You'll see religion, like you were saying religion, but I thought, you know, I'd break it down to the word union. So if we really understand what union is, if you look at the word union, you break it into something called unionization, you'll see it's about union. It's about removing the ions here. Yeah? It's not about gaining something, but it is, if you can see it. Now the kundalini... You'll see, obviously, we know that K is balance, yeah? So you'll see the K that underlines the I, okay? And this is the balance that underlines your I, I being the third I. Then you said Christ. If you see Christ consciousness, you'll see seeing the vibration of the full magnetic feminine sine wave in the physical, con, we just remove con, and we see chestness. But you see the feminine vibration in us, ending the ether, by the double sine waves. Now, I want to say that Freemasons use the chessboard. Now, the chessboard is the duality or representation of life here. Now, if you understand the phonics, you'll see con chessness and you'll see chess. And there's nothing to do with con in here. So con in we don't want to have in our world or in our phonics. So really, it's just chess. 
That's all it is, is chess. Consciousness is chess. And this is why they use it. My brother, in the word brother, you'll see be our other. In the word breast, you'll see be our east. In the word beast, you'll see be east. So you'll see the instructions. When you were talking about the word acid backwards, it's actually die, seeing the alpha. So acidity is the negative wave that we're on here, just as you said. You also mentioned the word illusion. You'll see the ill, you, sine wave, ion which is basically the ill version of you, but backwards it's noise, you, lie. You have maya. Now maya backwards is I am, which is the matrix or the olden word or the, you know, the maya's version of the matrix. Obviously the matrix is the mother's tricks. When you said full, hidden in the word full is the matter, F, of all. So we've all fallen here, and this is where the word fall is here, into sin, which is the sine wave in, or the sine wave, the feminine, we need to end. Um, any other words written on here? The alkaline, I think that was a good one. So when you said about alkaline, we understand that K is the balance. All K align. Alkalidity is when you find perfect balance, and it says it within the word. Um, you also said concept. So sept is seven in French, which represents the seven colors or the seven light in this realm that we're existing from the projection from, let's say, Ra. R Ra is just RNA, which is the full magnetic alpha. But through the concept you were saying, we have inception, deception, reception, and perception. Per is each sept ions. Perception is each seven ions. So each person has this perception through these ions. Now... You don't want to have deception, inception, so you must be receptive and have reception. How do we do it? As you were saying, being all K align. And we do this by the food that we consume, which is light in matter form. And when we look at food, you'll see again, F double O D. You have the eyes. D is four, which is form. And F is the matter man. So the matter man needs to look at his form or the form is looking at the matter. And this is through food. And it just says it here. So anyway, I yield. Thank you very much. And um... Sept is uh, Egyptian. Don't forget Sept Egypt as well. And uh, I think we're all pretty fed up. Speaking of food, uh, fat obese nations fed, fed up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was oh, brilliant, Josh. Yeah. What does Santos think then uh, over all of our, um, has he got anything input wise, brother, are you there? Have you got anything to say uh, about uh, inspirational words or comments that you're hearing and seeing from us? <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute. Uh, the uh, the pH scale is interesting. On the left, you've got redshift acidity, and then uh, on the right, you've got blue shift alkalinity. And so, the only reason why you would go the alkaline path is because blue light has more capacitance, so it's more spiritual. You see, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's uh, four times more powerful than or cap capable of uh, containing information than, than the red wave because it's four times quicker, the frequency. So uh, that's why Krishna is blue and Satan is red. There's nothing wrong or right with any of these colors as in they're all God's uh, creative forces uh, except that they teach something, you know. They teach you uh, the color is... is uh, is hiding information. You know, you don't just uh, think of the letters that make the colours. Like red is always uh, right turning, red shift energy. Blue is always going to be left turning, compressing energy. And so that compressing energy, since it's going back to source, is always uh, going to be the one that lead us, leads us back to God. So it's alkalinity, it's blue shift, uh, and it's. Um, it has to do with the information that that light is trying to tell us. You know, it's trying to give us many, many ways of uh, looking at it. And so, uh, not only are you guys uh, showing that language is monosyllabic and it goes in all directions, anagrams, lexigrams, etc., but also it's, it has uh, geometria to it, which is the same word, in my opinion, as geometry. Geometry uh, mm -hmm. is the same word. Matria, really, when you look at it, and so uh, it's a numbers and letters universe, and um, numbers are quantities and letters are qualities. So 
you know, God is making the word with quantities and qualities, you know, the world, the word. And so I'm enjoying this. It's a great lesson for all of us to remember our true, our true uh, language, you know. It's beautiful. Listen to the phonics, you'll see climb eight. I'm here. Oh, there he's back now. Okay, so you'll see climb eight. Now, this is what's actually going on with the sun. It's climbing eight. Okay. Now, if you look at Demetria with an H, you'll see one. T is 20. So you'll see two. And E is five. So you add them together, you actually get eight. So ATE that represents eight in our phonics absolutely re actually represents eight again, which represents the reciprocating and light coming from that. So um, with the, with the, the colours you were saying, there's, there's also hidden meanings within the colours. So red, you'll see RE, which is the rightfully established, D, which is form. Blue, you'll see B luminescent or bioluminescent, which is two lights. In green, you'll see the god's reen or the seven colors, G being seven, round about twice 33. Reen or backwards, you'll see it near G. Black is two lack, it lacks dualism. You'll see purple as in the light. P represents light because plasma is the light of L as the mother. Plasma, but purple is the light of your pool. Can you make any sense of purple being the light of our pool, anybody? Because we know that this violet light is to let the vio in. Now, violent is to lent, is to abstain. So violent abstains from this vio light. So the vio light is the feminine, feminine vibration hidden in that. I yield. pH again is the light vibration. That's what pH would represent as symbols. Phonics, is light. Phoenix, Phoenix, phonics. Yeah. Yes, pH yeah. one acid. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And that, that's where it comes from. So the pH scale is a light vibration. Um, why this is important, I'd like to add for not for Santos and for the guests on here, but for the ones watching and that I find is that um, uh, hundreds of years ago they found out they Jesuits, cardinals, establishment, elite monarchies, the, the, the consortium of the church and the state, they found out that they can program man very simply with this boat people, as I call it, maritime admiralty, Phoenician, Jesuit, all that, boat people talk, has, has conditioned our mind that we are 95% of the time operating on a subconscious realm. And when we are out in our busy lives thinking, we're always thinking, if we're thinking, we're hardly conscious. It's a bit like traveling in your iron horse. You get there sometimes, you don't recall the trip there. So this language and this skill set that Josh, I, Santos, the, the brother, I forget your name because you knew and I'm like that, I'm absent-minded. Um, we have got an understanding of this uh, Christ-like consciousness and this programming is, uh, I'm here and I think you're all here to, to help others be a better version of themselves. And this simple language cuneiform picture form phonetical babylon as we call it now babel is uh, is key to our our breaking of this cycle where santos know thyself legendary iconic video um it began there for me and knowing thyself is a uh, knowing inside and then the tools that we have um are tools and we've become Come like a monkey with a quantum 5G processor trying to open a coconut. Um, I don't know how we've got to this stage, but uh, I yield and I thank you all, especially Josh, um, for this new, um, uh, you know, um, cross pollination of, uh, of, uh, of, of phonics and, uh, you know, alchemic um, communication. It's, uh, it's truly a, a great time to be alive. I yield. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. That was awesome, David and Josh and, and Santos and Karen. Um, wow. Uh, again, just, just to be part of discussions like this is what makes it um, all worthwhile uh, because, uh, again, the is, is uh, staggering and it's overwhelming. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm really, really, really tired of it because it, it is time to do something uh, about this. I mean, Charlie, there's enough information if you want to see oh. it. There's enough information now if you want to wake up. Karen, that's so true. That, that's so well spoken and it's, it's so true. Uh, you know, Santos uh, says a lot, not just in, in the videos that we do together, but with everyone else. You know, if you just go back and, and watch the body of, of his work, because each, each presentation is a, it contains 
a little bit uh, different information. You have to piece it all all together. But um, if you did just that, uh, or you know, and again, I, I apologize for not knowing uh, Josh and David a little better because uh, it's very clear that good. Uh, I could do a podcast uh, with uh, with both of them uh, soon because um, this is just fascinating and fantastic. Uh, but, you know, like Santo says, it's all there. Um, you just have to take the time uh, to watch it, to piece it together. And the problem is, again, that where most of the minds gravitate uh, to within the uh, so-called truth community is always this nickel and dime, always the nickel and dime, a little bit here, bits and pieces of the, the biggest names. It's all just, you know, a, uh, uh, a numbers game and a numbers show. How many subscribers you got? How many views have you got? That obviously must be the truth or that's what's important because they've got the, the most, most, the most. Again, you do a correlation, a simple scientific experiment, easy to do. And you simply do correlation between the size of somebody's YouTube channel, which, you know, you can find your own analogy for, uh, and the truth. And you'll find that, that they don't mix well together. And uh, I think Santos is, is probably the only uh, uh, noticeable exception to that rule. And um, that's what we need to do. As Karen said, the information is there. You have to care enough people. And, and look, just think of it this way. What's been going on isn't working. It, it isn't working, not just that it's not working a little bit, it's not working at all. And in fact, as we find, it is the exact opposite of working. It, it, everything is like Santos likes to say, is the Antichrist. What is the Antichrist? Oh, Satan and the Antichrist and the devil and all that means is the opposite of Christ or God consciousness. That's it. If you're opposite of the Christos, then you are the Antichrist. That's it. That's what the Catholic Church is. That's what organized religion is. That's what organized everything is. They are the Antichrist. And what they are telling is the exact opposite of what the truth is. So if we did nothing else, David, just started to do the exact opposite of what's going on right now, where would this world be in something like two to five years? It, it's not the most difficult thing in the world to figure out, folks. We have to turn opposite away from what the heck is going on now. Sorry about that, David. No, no, that's, I wanted just to say that that's, that's refreshing to hear for one. It tells me a lot about your, your intellect and your insight, your overall opinion and your, your, your ideology, your methodology. Uh, I don't know um, your connection with, with, with uh, Brother Santos, but I value your opinion. I accept that. And uh, the, the, the key that I want to add on quickly is that man is in an uh, identity crisis, an ID entity. And, and you know, uh, uh, the way that we come across is that we have a thumbprint, we have an autograph, autonomy, AU, the words, the phonics. Santos has said before that the language we have is almost indicative of the cursiveness, the spelling and the dispelling, like the, what did he say? Let me go, I'm a weirdo, I remember too much. But he said something like mortgage for reference, uh, mort and gauge, it's telling you in the word itself, the derivative and all of that. So we, we are at the cusp now of being able to say that um, we're going to give the language and the instrumentation um, the, the KJV 1611 Bible has become an intrinsic uh, tool, um, like an equity handbook. I don't have religion anymore. I have faith. And that's what has brought me with you, you guys today. So we have um, sinned and we have gone from the path. It seems a bit biblical, but when we get to the bare bones of it, the universal laws, hermeticism we've found, Hermes and, uh, and, uh, and the original way, um, which it seems to have been hijacked by these, um, these other type deities. And, uh, and uh, I, I think we could do great work together. I'm going to yield. <laughs> thank you. Uh, very, very well said. Thank, and thank you for interjecting uh, all of that. You know, like uh, in, uh, <laughs> uh, I did a trilogy of shows with Santos and, and they're all just about done. Um, it's a lot of hard work because um, we've got the animal sanctuary here so i i'm dr doolittle helping all the animals all day long but 
but they're almost all done and they're brilliant because of course it's Santos. And um, one of the incredible things that Santos was saying in the first of the podcasts that's about to come out, which is the hijacking of the English language, uh, this legalese, is, is this uh, passage from the Bible and this uh, knowingness that, that do not study these words, do not study this language, do not become a disciple of, of these teachings. When, when it is necessary to have discourse with anyone within organized society, trust, know that the words that need to be said and spoken in that moment will come to you from the Father when you know, when you trust, truth, trust, when you do these things, the words will always be there for you. Do not use their words. Don't become Dan of the North, the viper, the, the lawyer, the snake that hides on the side of the road and comes up behind unsuspecting weary travelers and preys upon them with this false intellect. Don't be Reuben the Reckless of, of the South who goes off half-cocked everywhere thinking with your little 10% dime brain. Don't be Simeon or Levi with their bloody red swords out in the West, uh, causing carnal violence uh, through lust and greed and, and emotion all the time. Trust in the one truth, the oneness, the syncretism, and learn of the two true schools. What are the two true schools? Always from Zoroaster on, they've always been there and they always teach the truth monasteries, mono, and seminaries, semen. Seminaries and monasteries are what we need to get back to. David, you said something brilliant earlier that we're not educated, we're schooled. And as schooled, we are. We're, we're just monkeys. That's why they come up with this laughable story about evolution. And we come from, we come from monkeys because, because it's too funny for them, because they see us and they've transformed so many of us into monkeys and we're not we're we're monistic orders we're seminary orders of the highest order and uh, we're brilliant we're genius we just have to get back to the garden the garden of eden within sorry again for that folks but you guys inspire me so much this is great thanks man i uh we like trust. Furthermore, just I want to quickly say, Jay, we do trust, don't we? We are introducing the great family members into man's one and only true currency, which would be trust. So um, that's that's key. We agree on that as well. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. Go on, Josh. Sorry. Trust and word. Word is our bond. If you look at the word, you'll see. Actually, we've done word. So um, let me just get this out of the way. Uh, B on. D. D is form. So something's bonded it beyond your form. <laughs> There's a few words I just wrote down as people were talking, and I thought I'd share a little bit of this. So when someone says there, you'll see a physical, you can see he, R-E, rightfully established, the physical. So you see here, he, rightfully established. And then he is a vibration in the ether, but I'm just breaking it down quite simply at the moment. And then this is a physical vibration of the feminine sine wave. This is how everything is created. So I had a lot of time, like self, everybody was always saying like S L for, you know, within this, but the true self is the sine wave of L in matter. F again is a material form. Uh, f, 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 phonically phonics is pH is light and F is matter. Okay. So the sine wave of L in matter is the self. Now, I want to share this with tissue. So the word issue, if you listen to it phonetically, is you. So if somebody has an issue, it's really you, is you, okay? Now tissue is the physical is you, okay? We also said, I think you said performance. So if you look at the word performance, you see per, which means each, or the light, of the ether full magnetic, but we'll just leave that for now. So you'll see each, as in one per child, for man's seeing. So the performance is for each man to see, as in the promenade, 
was for the aid of men. Promenade. Okay. Now, when you said come, obviously hidden in the word come is just the co me. Coing, joining me. If you look at the word code, you'll see joining the form of the ether. Now, this is, the, this is what we need to do. We need to become a perfect balanced state of dipolarism to become etherical. I'll just share a few. Uh, you, said, you said genius as well, and it made me uh, think of the word imagine. Because it in you will see I'm a genie. Just like in the word Lamborghini, you'll see lamb or genie. Uh, and you got the bull on the front, yeah? Right, so a little thing to let people be aware that the T is the physical. You have a T-shirt. Rousers. Rainers. You have, say, joining. Now, when the physical is joint, you've joined it to another physical. Now it's joint. So you have a arouser means it goes up. Arousal. So this goes up your physical. So you pull your trousers up. Raining or rainers. If you give children rainers, it pulls them back. Your physical trainers are basically stopping your physical because earth is called earth and ground is called ground for a reason because we're electrical beings by nature and everything electrical needs to be earthed or grounded. And if we're not grounded, we're not the our being capped in the word capabilities is abilities. Now you'll see that our abilities have been capped. In the word ability, you'll see A or the alpha by light. And why is the alpha? And this realm choice, this is why we ask why and why the wise become wise. And truly seek and find out the information to see the K and to be balanced. Um, let's leave that there. Also, I'd like to say that, you know, hidden in the word reverse, you'll see that this is how you actually rightfully establish the verse. Now, verse is the V, feminine, ether, full magnetic sine wave within the ether. This needs to be rightfully established. How do we do it? If you look at the word backwards, phonetically, it's backwards. Now, the truth has always been hidden to us in plain sight, occultly, for our eyes to discover when we're ready. Um, I truly believe if we elect a sine wave, we select. And all of this really is very, very simple, just as magnetism really, truly is. You reverse that word simple, you'll see L, light of the mother, feminine, sine wave. And it really is that simple. Um, I'll leave that there. And if anybody wants to interject, or I can continue all day. But um, please, if anybody wants to say anything, please do. I do, but it's to Santos about something simple, about his um, hydrogen video. If it's okay, could we... Could we talk about the simple effectiveness of this hydro treatment in a paraphrase it up? Would that be appropriate? Could he, uh, I'm totally blown away um, by it. I've used hydrogen technology to clean out a Volkswagen um, VW um, uh, engine. I'm not advertising them. It's just a renowned, strong 1.9 TDI Volkswagen engine. I've done um, research and discovery for two years and I've been to Hungary to, twice to, uh, uh, you know, 5,000 mile run. And um, I've uh, I've come back, had an MOT and the results the, the technician gave me was 0.02. So I've effectively managed to clean a 14 year old dirty diesel, 206,000 mile engine with hydrogen. And um, this is a simple technology and it's got some health benefits of which are, are very simple that uh, I wanted just to see if we could touch upon before um, we shut down or if maybe another time, then so be it. I'm happy to jump in on that, David. It's a good subject. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. If that's if that's if that's good, yeah, we can do that. Um, and and before that, of course, always the number one element. 
So it's the purest and smallest of atoms. It spins. It's the only atom that spins. All the rest wobble. <coughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, and it's also in symbology, in theology, it translates as the, the serpent, the sine wave, the hydra, hydrogen, water. And it's the serpent, the most common animal motif in religions, because it's the sine wave. And he who eats of the apple, the sine wave, the sin of Eve, is made of water. It's hydrogen. Everything goes back to hydrogen. Proteum, actually, the most common, well, it's the only hydrogen that exists, proteum, really. Deuterium and tritium have to be made, and they can be harmful. So proteum. And proteum is the prototype, you know, it's the prototype of all the atoms. And they're all, the atoms are elements, that's all they are. And elements are just frequencies. So when ionic bonding happens, they're not stealing or giving uh, uh, electrons, they're actually just changing each other's frequency. So it's all about frequency. And there's two kinds of frequency. There's the longitudinal frequency and then there's the transverse frequency. But hydrogen is, uh, every, everything is rooted in, in hydrogen. The sun is hydrogen, uh, Saturn, Jupiter, all the planets, our bodies mostly have hydrogen because it's uh, H2O. And so, and H2, of course, it has two parts to one of oxygen. And hydra contains, when you unravel it, uh, the word door it's the doorway idra dor the door and door is torus field and all the doors which are stars are toruses and this is why hydrogen is so important the machine that i'm talking about there uh, is a great machine i'm not there to promote that machine at all whatsoever some weak-minded individual couldn't resist and uh, have attacked me for being a salesman altogether. Well, that just reflects on their debility and where their mind is coming from and their heart. Their heart is for selling and buying, not mine. I'm not a buyer and a seller. I'm a teacher and I always will be. And if I happen to be uh, talking about a product which is good, it's not because I'm going to go start selling those things. I only deal in syncretism. So just in case there's any <clears throat> more weak-minded individuals out there, um, you know, we have to try and strengthen our minds and and see what people are really trying to do rather than jumping on the first, you know, uh, the first option which this materialist world is always going to be inclined to do. So if it's a good, good product, well and good, you can go and buy it. If you don't like it, you don't have to. The point is, I'm speaking about hydrogen, machine or no machine. So all the strong-minded people like yourself, David, Karen, uh, Joshua there, Charlie, they'll get the message and they'll understand that not the machine but hydrogen is the subject and they will advance whereas the ones who are focused on the machine and think that I'm a salesman now all of a sudden, they got nothing out of it and they never will. Well, probably. We'll, we'll, we'll engineer this, we'll use our uh, trust and our family and our rights, okay, as uh, you've taught us and others, and uh, we are sceptical when we see, um, you know, uh, big uh, leading iconic figures with brands, but that's not to say anybody, if they have attacked you, that's their small-mindedness, but bottom line is, I've uh, I've come to, to say that um, I've got knowledge and first-hand knowledge of hydrogen technology, I watched you and Hydrogen Man, and um, the claims that are being made um, are backed up by Japan. And um, I've looked at the law of attraction, power of intent, electromagneto, Masoro, Emoto, messages from water. I can correlate if you've uh, been to see this man and it, it doesn't matter what brand has produced initially the, the, the hydrogen, but if that gas inside our 12 systems and uh, our, our bodies and, and with what that information you've given us there thank you that's um second to none that will help me in our anglo research the application of this but um the joint problem i forget the one now where it swells up with the bones he said uh, his granddad had um not parkinson's is it um what is it with the bone um when it doesn't it swells up and you you can't bend it. He had that, didn't he? His granddad, um, bad blood. Uh, um, 
diabetes, when I say bad blood. What, and rheumatism? Yeah, hey? Rheumatism? No, it's where the bones, the joints... Rheumatism? Happen. No, it's not that one. Can you remember ah. some of us? Is that um, what you meant? The, 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 the bone one? The... Well, I was thinking... Oh. Arthritis, but um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, arthritis, it's amazing. That, that video has inspired many. That's uh, truly incredible. I said uh, thank you. They want me to say thank you to that, my scribes and uh, the Anglo side because we're going to look into this technology. And um, you know, uh, I would never imagined that that could be an application. Very simple, like Occam's razor. Josh, you brought this. This is why I'm mentioning it. Josh's simple word made me go to, oh, yeah. The simplicity of that's incredible, brother. You've uh, you've done the world um, a massive man a favour there. We will uh, apply this and look at it um, and the benefits. Parkinson's. These are what the Western academics say we can't deal with. There's no hope. Um, the story of him um, and his granddad, bless him, and bring him back up, going, yeah, I know it doesn't work. And he said, no, it's gone. My glycoma's gone, and they tested me again, and they tested him again, and they didn't believe it. So kudos to you, brother. Thank you, and. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so that, if that's, uh, you know, the Japanese studies back that up and so it's not just a, a dream that's come out of nowhere. Uh, I, I can back up what you've said um, and we're going to look into that technology, brother. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. It's, it's good. We've had a great response from that video. Unfortunately, uh, Greg, who, uh, who uh, presented that information, is so well learned. He was disappointed with some of the comments, so I had to disable the comments on that. I wanted to keep them on. I didn't see anything offensive there except for people writing to me, you know, uh, saying things, but I didn't see anything on the comments, but he did. And so that's the reason why, folks, if you watch that video, the Spanish one's been left on. They weren't, they weren't so rude, but uh, yeah, Greg has asked me to take those comments off. I've recently just started having comments on my YouTube channel as well in the last, say, four months. So I've been sort of more friendly to people than how I used to be, I guess. Uh, I, I was never one for watching people make, you know, their their horrible comments and things like that. They used to, I used to react and so forth, but... Um, that's the only video that doesn't have comments, but the reason being is clear, folks. Uh, when you, you know, when you're talking about certain subjects and people are afraid of health, they're afraid of healing themselves, and they're afraid of other people teaching the truth as well. You know, they, they, they're full of fear. You know, so all I say is just allow. You know, allow knowledge to come to you, and if you don't like it, that's fine. It's not for you. Uh, you know, just wait for the right opportunity. But hydrogen is definitely something. Very special. We can uh, use it in many ways. You can breathe it in. You can drink it, and it will enrich your life. And it will, uh, you know, cure lots of ailments, etc. Yeah, that that's brilliant, Santos. And and really, you know, with with hydrogen, it, it ultimately really is the 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 purest example of uh, what the Buddha taught, which is the middle way, the middle path. And you know, when, when you just get yourself into a state of righteousness or uprighteousness, and you just simply follow what is commonsensical, what is provided for us in, in mass abundance, and you just get in tune. It's what Krishna talked about, it's what Buddha talked about all the time. Just get in tune with Mother Nature and stop fighting what is if you fight what exists within mother nature within nature itself you will spend your entire life um, living the consequences of battling what is when like the buddha said when you when you accept what is and when you flow with grace and ease with what is presented to us then you're in that path you're in that path of the straight and narrow the further you go along the path of the straight and narrow, uh, the harder it is to turn back. In fact, you get to a point where there is no turning back ever. You're, you're on that journey to ascension towards the light, the angels or angles, with all the messages, with all the hydrogen <laughs> in the world there for us. Uh, and we're, we're on that path. And this is the thing, folks, you know, like we were talking, uh, Karen was, was on top of it because she was talking about uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatism or rheumatoid arthritis um, being, you know, one of these byproducts of the, of the diet 
that that we have and 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 i and I, let me make this clear not just what we consume in terms of food and beverages but our thoughts as well the, this whole acidity versus alkalinity is far more than just what you put into your mouth it's what's coming out of your mouth it's the thoughts that you take which are highly acidic as well toxic so um, when we take the middle way the middle path uh, of the buddha which is abundant of, of hydrogen then we're, we're in flow with mother nature. And what happens is, as Santos was alluding to this, there's very little that we need to do. There's very little thought that we have to take. That's the brilliance of God's creation, which is that it's all being done for us, whether we are conscious of it or not. It doesn't matter. It's still, it's the way it is. It functions. So either you're on board with ease and flow and what is in nature, or you're against it. When you're with it, guess what? The three wise men that came with these gifts um, are, are the essential uh, secretions or fluids as part of our energy. System. So this is the melatonin, serotonin, and the dopamine that are gifted. And, and where, where does the endocrine system begin? Where does it flow from? Where do these, these incredible secretions all originate within? Third ventricle of the brain. Third ventricle of the brain controls the physical body. Without a doubt, you cannot deny this. The physical form that, that we have is being largely determined, controlled, via these sacred secretions that are all originating through the third ventricle of the brain. We're talking about the optic thalamus with the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, God's glands within, within the brain, the hypothalamus. And these secretions are controlling us both metaphysically and physically. And they are providing us with copious amounts of melatonin, serotonin, and dopamine. You don't want to, to, to have um, diabetes and you don't want to have uh parkinson's disease and alzheimer's and you don't want to have heart disease you don't want to have all of these problems right get in flow with nature it the human creation is so perfect full of the brain is so thoughtful it does everything for us whether we realize it or not both physically and metaphysically and all of these problems that we're now suffering from dying at the age of, of you, you don't even bat an eye when you see somebody die of a heart attack at 58. Well, they were 58. You have to fucking be kidding me, right? Why are <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight hundred years? Why aren't we getting our third set of teeth, our fourth set of teeth? What do you think happens in this physical form if we allow it to continue? It will just continue. Why would it not continue? Please flow the middle way via hydrogen, the path of the straight and narrow, the middle way that the book talked about. Get flow what is that melatonin, serotonin, dopamine, all of these sacred secretions. Josh, Josh, I can hear you typing. You're cutting out Charlie. And 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 that's what Sorry, they, that's... Josh is typing away and it was cutting you out. Sorry. Definitely not typing, Karen. Um, good prediction, but it was wrong. Yeah, I can. I want to say Charlie. Charlie Chalk. Charlie says, oh, wow. He says a lot. What does Charlie say? Oh, my days. Um, I remembered your name. We're in there. It's locked in. All is autumn. The, all, the universe is mind. Um, all is mind. So you've mentioned Buddha. We've got, you know, Akiol and the Godfather. Only to me, I don't know to anybody else, but Brother Santos and what he's brought and vibration and that atom manifestation, law of attraction, inwardly projecting, outwardly attracting. So let me bring you this, okay? I, I'm a bit giddy. I'll try to be calm. <clears throat> but uh, when I get passionate, the passion of Christ, my cup overspilleth. You know, I'm sorry, but uh, I used to DJ, Charlie, and. Uh, I wrote a lot of records from, from, from way back in the day. And I'm waking up um, odd days with songs from the 80s playing in my mind. And I was a DJ of the Acid House um, music, digital music, you know, uh, uh, prodigy onwards. Charlie Says. There we go. Indeed. Excellent. And uh, I wake up now to songs like um, 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 Depeche Mode. 
reach out and touch faith. You know, your own personal Jesus. I'm like, what? Where's this? I'm waking up. I don't, this isn't my music. I don't buy this. I'm not against it. But before my time, and I haven't listened to this recently, and that, that secret, that what you're on about, vibration, um, I think we're, we're tuning in to, uh, to the same messages and uh, we all, all have our own relationships, but um, Santos has helped me in to this realm and I've discovered through my own doing and experiences and, and numbers with Josh, you've got your own, I don't know them, but I wake up with a song from the 80s in my head that I don't particularly adore, uh, enjoy playing, listening to de depressing negative. It should have been called depressed mode. So. Um, uh, I'll leave it at that, but uh, I get what you're saying, and I, 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 I agree, yeah, uh, um, I'll yield. <laughs> Nobody jumping in on that? Third. Everybody's Third. quiet now. I, I was Third. just waiting. Charlie to talking? I've never heard Santos so quiet. Hmm. Carry on. Carry on, Josh. I didn't know if Santos was going to say Santos. something. No. Santos going to say something? I've never heard Santos as quiet. Santos? It's, a, it, it's, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Everything's filled out all the spots, so no use jumping in. Yeah, everybody's taking, taking the reins, so it's good. Good. I'm enjoying it. Cool. Rank. That's going to go in there. Our onk. An onk holds us down. We have uncles and anchors, and this is why we have ankles, because they onk all of our body. So anyway few words that were said I just want to share. Uh, start was said. Um, if you see in the star, you'll see the star in the physical. And that's where we start. Prodigy is for die. Obviously, somebody who's a prodigy is somebody that's going to acquire greatness. So it's for die, God by choice. We were talking about hydrogen. In the word hydrogen, I can see that it has um, like a mul multiple it can kind of choose what it wants to do within the word. Is that something that it, it can do, Santos? Has it got like a choice within it? Can it attach itself to multiple um, areas? I had to switch my phone on uh, on and off then, and I missed most of the conversation that was going on. So, um, But it looks like it can attach in different ways to the body by the word. Of course it can, and, and that's what these letters do. They have every letter regardless of what language you speak or whatever universe you live in, R, A, T, all these letters, they will all have the same function and quality. But they don't have just the one. Each letter is archetypically many things. They all have uh, in them the capacity to be more than one thing, an archetype. And yeah. so... But they will always, in every language, I've proven this time and time to myself and to others through my presentations, that they'll always have the exact, very same meaning in its original root. As simple as that. Yeah. See, there's always been a bit. Yeah. Sorry, I actually meant actually hydrogen. The, the, the thing that you were speaking about a minute ago, the water source, does it have like a multiple application? Just, just hydrogen itself. Yeah, um, that's what, how am I? That's what, that's what I mean. Because it, it has. It, mm -hmm. oh, okay, 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 cool. Because this here to me says the vibrational choice of form, hide, yeah, and then it's full magnetic, so it's complete vibration. God's ether ending, or well, we say G, but it's the seven Ra, so ether and ending. So it has a choice of form in a full magnetic manner. Um, this hydrogen. And um, I want to share that the thing that we should be consuming is obviously amino acids. And our body wants to absorb this simple format of food through fruit. And fruits have carbohydrates in them. And with the hydrate carbo, we hydrate our carbons. And our body being carbon, we need to hydrate this through the hydrogen that's acquired through the fruit. And that's another synchronicity there for you. Um, health was said health is to heal the physical vibration you can see heat all so when everybody realizes that you'll heal and depressed is to remove the light full magnetic ether double sine waves 
This is why we have Congress conning our grass. We have progress and Congress. Gress is the G or the seven, Ra, the seven colors, in a rightfully establishing the two sine waves. So progress is for us raising our vibration and acquiring the dual light, the dual sine wave with a double torus. And anything to do with the Congress is to actually stop it. So when you hear Gress in, in, in language or phonetics, you'll see that it's rightfully establishing the sine waves through G or Ra. Um, and I think those were the words that I was catching a minute ago. But I wrote down the word tomorrow. And if you look at the word tomorrow, you'll see tomorrow. And O is the vibration or the void or uh, space, let's say, before the Big Bang. Um, the Big Bang to me has come from this void of uh, nothingness. And we get two energies. And these two energies, when they reciprocate and create, they basically create light. And it's called fuck. Because this matter, you see balance. And this is why we've been given these swear words, let's say, you know. And all of these swear words, or most of these, these swear words, end in seeing the K or trying to see the balance. But ph phonetically, this is a matter. So when you fuck, you're having light in matter form. And if we put the pH in there, we're reciprocating and creating light each time with this torus. Lost my trail of thought, but I'll rub that out. Um... Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I've got a lot of uh, I got a lot of fuck for the uh, Big Bang theory. But um, one of the words you had on there, Josh, that you erased, uh, I'd I'd love to hear your take on was apple. If you want. Uh, to okay. Apple. So it's the alpha light pull, or the pull of alpha light, just as in the temple. Is a physical, electromagnetic pull. EM together in our language represents electromagnetism. So say if we have empathy or empath, you'll have the electromagnetic pathway. Or if you break down the word path, you'll have light of the alpha's physical vibration. So an empath is somebody that has electromagnetic light of the alpha's physical vibration, which means they can feel others through their sensory perceptions as well. So yes, yeah, the word temple, you'll see a physical electromagnetic pool. And I suppose oh. our temple... Um, Charlie, Josh, may I uh, also add Temple, Knowledge, Solomon, Josh, King... Uh, Josh, uh, oh, go on. Josh. I'm listening. Oh, sorry. I was just wondering, why do some people have it then and some people don't? Because I'd call myself an empath. Why do people have it and not? Because they're not necessarily connected to the divine. So if you look at the word divine, it's divine. And it's a vine that flows from being balanced. This balanced state is die. Die means two, yeah? Or join, just like um, T-W-O or Z-W-I. This is why dipolarism can be called Zwitter Ion. If you look at the word Zwitter Ion, it's a perfect balance between a positive and negative, which creates dipolar or a plasma-like state. So once we're into this perfect balance, we can create this plasma-like state within our being. Plasma being P light L as the mother. And this plasma state, I would personally say that the blue beings that we're seeing in ancient depictions are people that have actually created themselves to this perfect balanced state and have left the body and now they're in an etherical format. And this is the state that we can all acquire through understanding our body spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and understanding thought through emotion, reprogramming ourselves from the fear anxiety matrix that's been programmed through us and channeling bliss and beautiful nature. And once we can do this and understand our true nature, we can get sensitive and receptive to how the planets align with our body each different day of the strong. I don't call them weak, sorry, each different day of the strong, sorry, of the weak. And then we'll know who we are through that and we can access these realms that are existing all around us. It's just the frequency that we need to tap into. We need to free the Q and C, the Q being balance. 
That, that is brilliant, Josh. I mean, uh, you, you started that with the word divine and what you just did was divine. And what, what you're teaching there is, is the central tenet or thesis of Santos and uh, syncretism and dielectricity. Dielectricity being, being father, uh, creating the mother, creating the uh, regenerated man. This is, this is the, the very basis, uh, once again, the very basis of creation at its most, um, you know, uh, basic form. Uh, brilliant, just brilliant. And, and ba was, basic, and the way it's so cool for a lot of us. Can I, everyone? I was just trying to say about um, Apple, um, you know, um, you've got Apple technology, Apple phone, the iPad, and I, I look at the Apple with the bite out of it, Charlie, um, Apple tree of knowledge and tree of information. So like the Kabbalah, um, the tree of knowledge, the tree of information, the tree of um, uh, life, tree of knowledge, sorry. So knowledge would be the Apple, the digital, the media, the subsequent AI algorithmic uh, you know, sinful environment. And we are now in a church as, as maybe, I don't know, ambassadors witness of, of Christ in a, in a emissary, you know, fashion there. And we are in the tree of life and uh, technology and Apple and um, the Apple, um, you know, when you chop it in half, you've got the seed and the star shape. There's lots to do with the Apple in there in, in that respect. And um, Eve taking that bite, um, you know, and, and how that goes there. I've got in my own, you know, later, not now, but uh, I just wanted to say, yeah, the Apple technologies with the Apple. I didn't know if that's why you asked as well, but I've noticed that and done some work, research on it. Thank you. Great stuff, David. Great stuff. <clears throat> Josh is a, a true genius with, uh, with, with this. Uh, I, uh, etymologically wise, um, you know, want to do some work with them as well with regards to um, the power of the cursive language we have, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, awesome, there's mate. a few uh, genies in the bottle here. Uh, this, this is fantastic stuff. Uh, and Josh, if, if you want to pick up on, on what I was just saying about those basic words and about die, die electricity and, um, you know, uh, the double torus field and, and what Santos is teaching, please, please just jump right back in. So like in the word double, you'll, you know, you said double, you'll see the ball, yeah, B-L-E, this represents ball. And if you look at it backwards, the ball, B-L-E, you'll see L, B, yeah? So L, B, this ball, yeah? And B is the dual L, which is the two. So it's the form vibration of your ball, double. This is what you need to do. There's an instruction in it. So we said discover, we said the, the die sine wave, and I'll go back to the word discover, because it's so important that this word is instructing you what you need to see. To discover is the die sine wave that's been covered. And this is what we need to discover. And when you said basic, I just wanted to share how synchronized our language is. It, basic is B as I C. And you can't get any more basic than what you're seeing as your sight. Um, and then you said the word information, so I thought I'd just write it down and catch it. So information tells you that within, you need to form the alpha's physical ion or inform a physical ion. Um, and this is how we build from within. Um, I sing the word tone uh, on a, str uh, sorry, tone. Um, it's called tone road where I'm at at the moment, okay? So in the word tone, you'll see T, which is physical and one. So the physical one creates the tone. And then within the word one, you'll see either on ether or a, vibri a vibration that end in the ether, which is creating a physical. So the word tone itself is basically expressing it's a creation of sound into physical matter. Um, and then I thought I'd share the twilight zone. And the twilight zone is the entwined light. Z is that wave of one. And we have the twilight zone. Z could also mean tree. So it's the tree one, the first tree, the tree of life, which creates life. And then we'll go back to the die, because you said you wanted to speak about the word die. So, you know, we've been given many things, um, you know, in our language. And you just need to understand that die is hidden in some, so many things like meditate. Okay. So you've got the eight, which represents the reciprocation. Me is obviously me, but I'm a part of the mother's ether. This is me. And then we have die physical eight. So when you meditate, 
it's actually about becoming this the die state this state of pure balance this die could also be like we we were saying by but really by is using this language slightly different but it also means too um we've got diction die see physical ions now the perfect diction will create us in that matter and we should be able to create as we speak abracadabra um let's say dissolve yeah so in the word dissolve you'll see the die uh, the die sine wave has been solved and when you have solved it you dissolve your physical body can be left and you go into the ether onto the next stage the next stage is a sine wave physical age and you'll see that hidden in the word stage brother uh, can i go can i just suggest zodiac and diagnosis then have you got anything on them May uh, I just, <laughs> sorry thank you <laughs> nice one <laughs> So the zodiac is this very special um, longitudinal wave vibration, the die, the alpha to C. So you need to the C, the alphas, die vibration on this wave, and this is what the zodiac will do. It will allow us to create ourselves in perfect balance. The other word was. Sorry, it was the you know what the general practitioner does to us. It gives us a diagnosis, doesn't he? There of, uh, of our sicknesses, of what's uh, afflicting us. Well, the the, the dia in just this normal language would mean through, in Greek, a gnosis is through knowledge. In English, we've been given slang. Dia would mean bad, as in diabolical, which means bad knowledge. But di is a form of the feminine okay so this is why die is called die form and feminine number nine if you look at nine you'll see femi nine okay d is four which is form so it's a form of the feminine and the word again sorry mate my head just goes so fast please tell me the word again Diagnosis. Uh, that was it diagnose it's written there <laughs> it's all right um so it's through the form, but form of the feminine alpha. That's what dire is. So, so this is what it fundamentally means. And gnosis would be the seven ending the vibrational sine wave of the feminine sine wave, and joining with the jewel. So, it's the for it's a form of the feminine the alpha, which is how we find things through her, because this is how we're existing is through this feminine. So this is what dia means, and gnosis is just finding these two sine waves between the feminine. So it just explains to you there's two sine waves between the feminine vibration. You need to end God, or G, the seven projector, and the alpha feminine form. This it, Everything always points back to balance and finding these two sine waves within our language. So I'll share the word, like, if I was to say mission, our mission here is R2S my double s ions that is our mission i'm going to join the, i'm going to quest ion our mission <laughs> sorry the quest has the q again which is balance you need to q the sine wave of the physical ions and this is why we have quests and this is why we have quest ions because you don't know something and to know something is to balance out the unknowing so then you're becoming knowing which is building the arc of the knower yeah, again, brilliant. And, and the other aspect that you were talking about, relating back to, to, to die, to, to perfection, that perfect form, also within the zodiac, within the Z wave, again, is, is eternal. Again, this is the, uh, the longitudinal or scalar wave. Once again, what we're always seeing is that everything is going back not only to this, uh, wants to go back to homeostasis, this, this perfect uh, form of balance but, uh, and harmony, but also it's eternal. It is eternal. Again, this is such a key, key aspect for people to, to give their heads a shake and really start thinking about because um, it's becoming a, beyond a joke how the average individual is wasting away and dying at such young ages 
and nobody is even batting an eye at this anymore. Somebody dies, like I said, at, in their late 40s or mid 50s from some disease. Yeah, well, you know, they were in their late 40s or mid 50s. Again, this is nonsense. It is ridiculous. And we need to start thinking about these things because, again, homeostasis, this, this perfect balance, but eternal perfect balance and we are missing these things big time and then you say missing it tells you what you're missing because it's my double s in g and this g is the seven so what's missing is our double s in in this realm in, in Josh, g Go. i've got a question for, for brother charlie for me he's mentioned scalar waves a couple of times he doesn't know that i've been to see dr sam Azmanovic at the bosnian pyramid but uh, they, they give out scalar waves that's how i found scalar waves that's all i know about scalar waves from what i found in um Viseco hill um the, the videos are on my channel if you want to have a laugh at them charlie brother but uh what do you mean scalar waves talk to me i'm a phonetic i'm a phoenician myself and um i don't understand you'd lost me there could you just highlight your scalar wave um you know what what you were saying because I, I i'm i'm interested uh you bet again this this comes <laughs> the master which is which is santos and and again uh, in, in our world, in this uh, electromagnetic world that uh, Josh so brilliantly talked about, um, you know, which is our ether, the electromagnetism, there, there, are, two, there are two worlds that we have to, to harness and use, but uh, once again, homeostasis, use in, use in balance, and each have their own purpose. So Tesla, you talk about this being in, you know, in Eastern Eastern Europe, and, and uh, I, I forget specifically the country that you just mentioned, but it's obviously very close. Croatia, was it? Uh, very close to... Bosnia, Herzegovina. It's, um, yeah, there. Yeah, old Yugoslav. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So very, very close to, to Tesla and the realm of Tesla. And this is, this is what Nikola Tesla divined. He said that, that electricity is a downward causation. And he said, this is where the nonsense of the theory of gravity comes from that all of these theoricians were, were essentially simply noticing this constant downward causation of electricity from upon high from the darkness and being pulled down into the light. And by the way, Tesla also said that what was causing this downward causation was human thought, the necessity of human thought. So every time we, we think there needs to be an electrical reaction to, to our thoughts, so we're pulling down this electricity, which is this downward natural causation of electricity. Now, as Santos teaches, electrical waves are temporal. And the best example of this would just be like uh, the oscillating wave within the, the ocean. And it just oscillates in, in perfect balance and harmony until such time there is a force exerted upon it and then it is used up and then essentially it is dead until such time that it can pull new energy to it and then it is born again it is uh, regenerated again but this is these are temporal waves and they are by very nature temporary and we have been tricked via acidity in, in every single form to live these acidic temporal lives. So all that we are doing is living this realm of the downward causation of electricity. We've just become electrical beings and this entire notion of magnetism and kundalini and the, and the serpent, oh, that's just silly, Charlie, honestly. Why can't you just get serious like some of these other truthers and, and just talk about 9-11 and you know, buildings turning into dust and, and whatnot? Um, no, this is the heart and the basis of everything is this understanding of the electromagnetic ether. So and, uh, electricity, downward causation, temporary temporal waves, magnetism, which rises, uh, which is what we need to do since we're, we're all in agree agreement that we have fallen. We've fallen from from heaven by tasting of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and we have fallen so now we need to rise and we rise via the scalar or what are called longitudinal waves which are the you know the very form of of santos's uh taurus taurus field and um 
And Tesla talked about this in, and this is the biggest part of what was censored from, from Tesla later in, in his life. He talked about this so much that scalar waves are, are longitudinal waves are often now called Tesla waves. And that's why Tesla said, if you understand the numbers three, six, and nine, you understand creation. Because You're a legend. Uh, Nicola, may I interrupt? You, uh, you've passed the test. I, I've tricked you. I'm sorry. Um, I do know about Tesla and scalar waves. I didn't mean to not mention that, but he's, he's a hero of mine. Um, Jack Fresco, Nikola Tesla, Vortex Math, Rodinian, uh, Magneto Electro. So um, ACDC, the father of, you are a legend. I, so oh. I doth my cap to you. Tesla is very close to me and uh, you, you, you've more than exo you know, answered that and uh, I'm, I'm loving what I'm hearing, Charlie. Uh, you don't need to um, explain anymore. You've uh, you've hit the nail right on the head, my Sam. <laughs> Thank you. Well, just let me, <laughs> I'm an idiot, and uh, and and if if I live of my earthly physical self and through my dime brain, I am a, a complete freaking idiot, and I'll get it wrong. I am right when I am righteous, and uh, I, I owe I owe so much of of everything to people like yourselves just being part of this conversation but so much to to santos and 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 again um you know this is this is how you know that what we're talking about here today what karen's doing on on her channel and and you know she got shut down wasn't told why and uh, and I, I said i said to to karen you know the reason you got shut down is because of shows like this when you start talking about etymology, when you have David and Josh, and then you get Santos on here, this is not what they want being discussed. They do not want a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand letters. They don't want anybody talking about the things that we're talking about here. So if it sounds at times like I know anything, it's it's because I have been taught by Santos and I, I put my weight on the shoulders of the one true father. I of myself can do nothing. I of myself am a carnal beast and I'm tired of it, sick of it, and I choose to be a man, a man, a man. And that is ascending Christ up via meditation. And this is, again, the, the you know, the, the ancient symbol of, in these Eastern markets of, of these uh, men sitting cross-legged in a meditative state, playing a flute, and the serpent, the cobra, the cobra head, the bird head of Ra, rises up, uncoils itself three and a half times, uncoils itself and raises itself up toward heaven, heaven upon earth. And this is the only way that it can be done. And uh, so, no, what I know, I know because of people like Tesla, because of people like yourself, David, because of Josh, and because of Karen, and because of Santos. And... Um, and I, I have no false illusions that I'm anything besides just a complete carnal fuck up if I uh, so choose to be. Full of light then, full of light, brother. <laughs> which, which is a choice, which is a choice. Awesome, awesome. Has anybody got anything to say? I'd love for Santos to... Well, it's been, it's been brilliant. It, it yeah, has... nice, Charlie. I appreciate what you, you said there and the compliments as well, and it's true. I think I know what the problem uh, is with me communicating. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, jet, <laughs> jet lag. There's a bit of lag, lag in the... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> I, iPhone has a delay on it. Yeah, it's my phone. Mm. My phone has got the lag on it because I can see the Hangout on the computer is going differently. It's ahead of my phone, so that's why I look like I'm interrupting. Sorry. But anyway... Carry on, Santos. Yep, not a problem. That's uh, really great so far, guys. I appreciate the, um, the interaction and the input of everybody. That's We need each other. I feel like you, Charlie. I just feel like an idiot as well. Um, the only reason why I've got any wisdom is because I pay attention to other wisdom. It's not necessarily mine, although some of it must be. We bring it into this world from previous incarnations, so that's all good. You know, We need to give ourselves that in the back as well even though we do acknowledge that we really just you know uh what we carry with us is really, really just very small and compared to it's not insignificant it's it is significant 
even though we consider that we're just idiots. You know, we none of us are none of us are here thinking we you know we're special or you know it, well we are, but not in that sense that you know we uh, it's a it's a um, hey, hey so uh, that we don't know. Yeah, Santos, can I quickly interject something that that you taught me, and this is this is just so brilliant, and and it comes down to the to the pronunciation of of the Savior. Uh, Jesus Christ versus Christ Jesus. Uh, Jesus Christ is is of the body, is of the physical. And we all know, if you take the time to read the Bible, what Jesus said of himself, of the body. I of myself can do nothing. Everything that, that I can do, you can do better than, and you will do better than, than I can do. This is Jesus of the body. Christ Jesus is the spirit. And the spirit is God. You know, Christ Jesus is God. And that's why Christ Jesus says, only through me will you, able, will you be able to come to, to know God, to be connected to God through me. That is the spirit of, of Christ, which is within us. And herein lies the, the basic problem as, we, as, as David was saying, we're entering into this festive season and this is the, the problem of problems, the, the, you know, the heart bullseye centrality center issue of the problem with all of these literalist Christians as we head into this festive season. It is about the spirit of the Christos, not Jupiter Zeus, Jesus, Jesus is a greek name there is no there was nobody two thousand years ago running around the holy land by the name of jesus that person was in was in you know cuba or puerto, puerto rico jesus is 888 is the number of the sun god s-u-n or s-o-n the son of god which is jupiter or zeus jesus jesus and that is only the flesh, the body. And Santos, uh, again, he teaches this beyond perfection, uh, in perfect understanding of, uh, within syncretism, this understanding that if you want to understand the truth, if you truly wish to ascend, it is only through Christ Jesus, which is the spirit. Sorry for that, Santos, but again, that is the heart of what's What's at the problem during this upcoming festive season, this misunderstanding? Yes, Charlie, correct, brother. And it's, it's your humility that, uh, that allows you to reach to that beautiful, sweet conclusion. No arrogance, just confidence. Uh, it's our humility, you know, that uh, allows us to open our minds. If, if we weren't and we were so sure, cocksure of all of our secondhand information that we've had, given to us through education, then we wouldn't be here on this hangout. This is a hangout for, you know, true knowledge. Knowledge is humble. It's from the dirt. It's from the earth. Amaretz in Hebrew, you know, the dirt people. Jesus said, be humble. Be very humble. Be like children. Don't, don't bother about all these educated ones, the scribes and the Pharisees and all of their education. They've got secondhand knowledge only, and they think it's so important. Ours is direct knowledge. So, for instance, if I go around telling people that David's car is orange uh, uh, and it's not because I didn't know that David was colorblind, but I do know that he's an honorable person and he's always told me the truth. So why should I doubt? So I go around and inadvertently, inadvertently <clears throat> make a liar of myself by telling people that David's car is orange. He told me that. So that's secondhand knowledge, even though it's, it's a good person telling me otherwise trustable, but he's colorblind and, and he doesn't know that and I didn't know that. So when I go to the, his, the garage and, and open the door for myself to see directly his car and I see that it's not orange, it's blue, uh, then I have direct knowledge. You know? So now I can go and tell people the true color of David's car. Rather than just being a liar with all my second-hand knowledge and yes, I trust the education system, they've got nice buildings and good books. Uh, I trust my minister, you know, he's a, he's a good man and he's, he's very clean, living, etc. They've all got second-hand knowledge, guys. The only way you get direct knowledge is through syncretism, the sine wave, the torus field, and that's it. They're, they're the keys, you know, and you've got to be humble enough to pay attention and 
and to sit there for hours in meditation and work these things out like Joshua obviously has done. Joshua spent a lot of time, you know, working out this monosyllabic language and realizing that the, these are the keys. You know, they it always works, and and you can't. can't make it up. He's not making any of it up, as some people will say, because they've come to meditate and, and, and they've still got their second-hand knowledge and education to stop them from, prevent them from, from actually receiving this ultimate truth, <laughs> that the world is made from words, as the Hebrews teach, and numbers. And so this is how we unravel, unravel this labyrinth, you know, it's through humility, there's no other way. So thanks, guys. I just realized now I've got to go. I'm 15 minutes over my two hours that I allotted, and someone's out there picking me up. So I'll have to go now, and um, I can join another time, of course, uh, in the future. I really appreciate you guys letting me on and um, uh, sharing with you. So uh, thanks, guys. Um, Thank you, Santos. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, Karen. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You Thank you for everything you you've shared with absolutely everyone over the years, mate. You've been an absolute, an amazing player in this game, and uh, we appreciate everything you've done, mate. So thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Thanks, David. Happy Santos, absolutely what Josh said. Yeah. 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 Same for you thank guys, you guys. Good to hear you very happy as well, Santos. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. very happy, Karen. And relax. It's and good to hear you. Yeah, and peaceful. Uh, this is something that I've driven for all my life, and uh, finally I've got it. So I, I can share how I achieved that too another time. I've achieved um, what I've always wanted. So I'm happy to share the protocols and, and my path as to what I did. Maybe it'll help others. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the far right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Thank you so go. much. Thank you so much, Santos. Thanks, Karen. Continue on. Love to all. Big hugs. Peace and love. love. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your trip. For sure. Bye-bye. Take care. Ciao. Um, everybody, you know, um, Charlie and Santos were going hey. a little bit... Hey. Uh, sorry, uh, you know, just want to say, Karen, uh, you know, they were going a little bit biblical, Charlie and Santos, before he left then. Um, I just want to say that if 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 what I've read and discovered is true, I want to add to. It's a shame you can't hear this, but I'll message him it on Skype, like as he as he's left. But to Charlie, to you, and to Josh, and to others that that may watch this, you know, after after whenever, if we are all created in the Creator's image, then then my little um, you know tiny bit in here tells me that what we do and our actions that we do are by you know comparison of that, in essence, God's will. So what you have done hosting this and what you've continued to do and the attacks you've, you've suffered that, you know, and, and the emotions and all of the, when we're, you know, out and about doing the nine to five, um, Josh, yourself, uh, Charlie, Santos, you know, me, all the others that go out, the doers out there, it isn't easy, it isn't hard. And uh, if ever you're in doubt, then like Charlie's put it quite um, eloquently um, and simply, um, in, in quite a few times tonight, and uh, and Santos has you know a lot of times before, and I'm learning upon this and becoming confident enough to to be in this realm to say we're in the image of the Creator. All the actions we do are therefore of God's will, and we're doing the work of the, the you know the the whatever you know the, the the will of the universe in some extent. We get lost, we get confused, we have self doubt. But uh, I just wanted to say the, the word idiot and fool. Um, legalese, we are idiots in some extent, so now we use that ourselves, but um, I just wanted to echo and reinforce that it went a bit negative there in some ways, and oh, we're just humble little, um, you know, humans, but uh, man, whatever, you know, I paraphrase, we're at ease soldiers, but um, great things, mighty trees from tiny acorns, and, um, you know, we're uh, Kurdish sheep farmers finding man's greatest discovery of Gobekli Tepe. <laughs> no academic, Charlie touched on it earlier, no academic institute uh, will bring gr such great things. So um, well done to you all. And uh, yeah, shame Santos couldn't hear that. But uh, I hope well, the, good, that's it. Yeah. the good thing is, the good thing is that, um, David, when I talked to you about Charlie, you said you wanted to meet him and now you have and now you'd like to continue talking with him. So it's brought people together as well. This hangout. 
Yeah, which is what it's all about, Karen. It, again, that's just a, a, another major aspect of, of what you do, Karen, that has such uh, tremendous value is, is bringing uh, people like you. <laughs> believe me, again, this, what we're talking about, this, this conversation of which I, I joined in with, this is the answer. This is the way. This is what Buddha and Krishna and Christ Jesus, this is what they all talked about. This is, this is it. And it, what's sad is that this is not what you're finding on all of these other truth channels that have 100,000, 200,000 subscribers and donate here and donate there and do this and do that and don't do this and don't do this. It's, it's sad because this is the answer. Again, like Josh, Josh is showing. And what I, what I wanted to say to David is that, you know, originally to me, um, the, the, the ancient holy scriptures were almost complete rubbish. And that's because I was a true fool and, and didn't know. I had very little gnosis within me. But as my gnosis grew, oh my goodness, suddenly these books, the Bhagavad Gita, the, the Quran, the, the Bible itself, all of the missing texts that are been excluded from the Bible, uh, the Egyptian Book of the Dead, these are stunning creations when you know how to read them. And I, I would imagine Josh would agree with me on this. Everything that we need to know about the fall about who we are, about being the spirit Christ Jesus, about raising ourselves up via magnetism, these eternal scalar waves, about climbing back up to heaven, alkalinity. It's all in the pages of these ancient <clears throat> These books were all written from the sky. They were yeah, but unfortunately, may I interject? Because the key bit here is we're only with wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is the application of wisdom. Wisdom is the application of knowledge applied. So we have to have the consciousness to uh, to comprehend this. And only through the journey of life, 40 years in the wilderness. I'm 41. Would it have, you know, born on the 9th of May? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a May son, a son of May, number nine, divine nine. And I'm 41. I'm <clears throat> having a lot of magnetism. I need to uh, balance and meditate severely, as you can tell. And when I focus this energy, I can't wait, let me tell you. So uh, with others, it comes with being in the dark place and having to grow a little bit, learning, um, not getting what you want, being kicked and dragged. And it, it makes some people have a fortunate silver spoon and they don't have the consciousness, but they have a privy life and they never want for anything, but they're very shallow. And others, like you said, um, Santos said it, I think, uh, from the mud and the madder and all of this, the, the meek, the humble, and the experiences, it's uh, what well, it doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I, I see that you've had a journey too, my brother, haven't you? So uh, respect and love. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. You? Brilliant. <clears throat> yeah, 40 years. But Josh, Karen, I yield. Oh. I just realised that we've um we've lost Josh, yeah. We've lost we've lost Josh. Um maybe his phone ran out of battery. Um we've been going for two hours and twenty minutes. Oh he's back now. I just wondered like does everybody want to have like a five minute chat or whatever about what they thought about the hangout, anything they want to add? Because I've got this lay thing, so I'm a bit struggling here on the phone. Yeah, sorry I popped off then, guys. I uh, my battery died. Nice. Nice to say. <laughs> sorry, Josh. Anyway, you're back. Yeah. Charlie, do you want to start then? Well, I'd love for love for Josh if uh, if he's back and ready. I'd love for Josh just to to chime in and uh, uh, and really sum up everything from from his perspective. Can I just say then? Is it all right to um, pass emails? I'll pass you their emails. Definitely, Sorry. yeah. Yeah, very much so. Cool. Carry right. on, Josh. Can, all right, I just thought I, there's a few words that were being said, so I just thought I'd write them down. So if you, if you want to see this, then uh, if, I'll do it. Um, travel was said, you know, travel. And in the word travel is hidden an in instruction. And it says the physical sun to the feminine L. Yeah. 
uh, North and South are something that always pondered within me for a while until I figured it out. And if you see that there's no full magnetic physical vibration in the North, which is where we get the black hole, and then the South is a sine wave out the vibration. And then if you see the word Southern, you'll see a sine wave out her North, her N. Um, we spoke about magnetism and, uh, and magnetic and things like this, so I thought I wrote down magnet. You'll see the mother G net. It's the net of the mother. Magnetism, we get magic, which is when we are able to see the magnetism. Um, you said about sun and sun being S-U-N and S-O-N. Now we have the sine wave that you end or a sine wave vibrational end. Now this sun here, I'd say Ra is a false projector. It's projecting this paradigm in an illusory um, holographic way. And what we need to do is reconnect to the soul. The soul is the source light. You have source, so your C, ether. Now a soul, what we've got to understand is reverse will always reveal the truth. So if somebody's lost here, right, and you reverse the word, you'll see a physical soul. Yeah? A physical soul is lost. So when somebody's lost, they got to realize that they need to reconnect their self with this soul, which is the source or the sine wave vibration of L. Okay? Um, someone said fundamental. So it's the F, which is matter, under the mental. So it's the matter that's under the mind. You said is and it. So I thought I'd say, when someone says it just is, it just is. It's the feminine, feminine sine wave. And it becomes a physical, so it's the feminine physical. When you're talking about scalar waves, I thought I'd break that down. And it says the sine wave to see the alpha L in a full magnetic form. So that would make sense. And then the Tesla would be a physical ether sine wave of L in the alpha. And it makes perfect sense. Vor <laughs> vortex mathematics v is the feminine void or vibration of a full magnetic physical ether that's been balanced now this will create a torus which is a vortex right. uh, um we, we said breathe i think so breathe is br ether and we get the breath from the ether and this is why we need to understand breath and how we can connect with it um, victory, within the word victory, you'll see the V and the I, which is the feminine, seeing the Taurus by choice. So victory is when we can join with the feminine. You know, the, uh, the negatively charged Mother Earth and our masculine, positively charged beings can balance out with this Earth in a nice neutral charge, great in dipolarism. Um, someone said liar, and I thought liar, you reverse it for the truth, and you see Ra is ill. So somebody that's uh, lying has an ill vibration within their son. Um, idiot, someone said, and we've got the feminine die. Physical. So if someone's an idiot, there's an instruction hidden in the word for them to be or see. And it's through the feminine die polarized state vibration in the physical. And that's how we can attain our, our greatness, you know. We were given the beast system, and now the beast system tells us that we need to be east. And we know that Aries is in the East, and we always begin in the East, hence the Freemasons. Aries, um, Aries, I is, in, a... um, Josh, Aries is in the Dictionaries as well. Sorry. <laughs> and Aries is a rise, and a rise needs to happen from our Taurus, which is going through the center channel. And when we see the word center, it's see and enter. You must see and enter. But the tree... I'm just spitting out random words here now. Sorry, guys. But a tree is a physical that rightfully establishes an ether field. You're and a Joshua tree. You're a Joshua tree. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the miracle is my Ra call. And we get miracles when we call on Ra, the sun, because the sun is conscious. It's a loose term for a house. Ra is the sun. So the house of the sun within our body. We have rainbows, which are Ra in a bow, which is the sun in a bow. 
we have ma the matics which is the matics of the mother and mathematics is only down to this mother's torus or the divine nature of her existence and we do live in the phi cycle world or the physical phonetically is the phi cycle yeah. world we live in now we've been given physics God. which truly really is five God. sorry listen in. Go, on. go on i want you to do tetragrammaton if you if you can when you've done this the tetragrammaton is important okay. if you can spell that out do that one as well. and the hexahedron as well that's quite important for this realm as well uh, yeah. so, so five and six they represent physics or five and six, which is 11, which is balanced down to L even state, which is created by polarism, is hidden in the word. Let me write down this tetragrammaton. Uh, grammatron, sorry, I, I lose when I'm writing. Is that right? T E T R A, tetra. It's without the R, it's ton, T-O-N, but that's all right. Yeah, you can leave the R in, but it's tetragrammaton, yeah. Um, tron, is right. from, yeah tron is from Transformers. It's a bit of the dissonance, I think. But the grammar from the English grammar, tetragrammar, and then ton, yeah, ton. Nice one. Thank so you, John. You've got a, something that's physically etherical. You've got a physical sun. You have the seven colours of the sun. You have the mother's physical on so this is about balance between the ether and the sun the seven colors the two sons and the mother so the g's the g ra the seven ra the mother's physical hands so to me this is the physical etherical balance in itself with the physical sun becoming a part of the mother's eye or the, the mother's on or turning the mother on so so this is god yeah <laughs> yeah well it's a language it's the it's the phonetical phoenicians um d you know d deceptive um cursive tetragrammaton it's the basic building blocks of life in many ways it's many things i don't know if you of us are relevant i didn't want to detract but uh yeah it's the shape of building block uh, the grammar and many things it's just a, it's an interesting word i didn't fully understand you know yeah. And, and you know uh, what it what it really means. What what is being clearly shown there is create. That's that's creation. That's what creation is. That God humbling Himself to making us possible. Everything that you just saw there. That's that's creation. It's brilliant. Wow. manifestation this is power it's a tool you see what we've got we've got a tool here and we've got good minds that can now sharpen the tools and uh, improve and perhaps use um the interior angles and the mathematics of the primary um i know i'm going a bit deep but shapes and using this with the quantum and the prime and the numbers and the, what we've got and we'll find another language a true honorable balanced uh, you know vibratory language uh, to unique to tesla uh, scalar waves and etc you know uh, uh, atlantean type harmonic way um, nullifying the weights of blocks and so forth uh, resonant frequency and um, resonant watts you see you've got resonation we've got diso dissonance this and uh, resonance this so yeah it's, it's all connected isn't it so um i'm gonna say yeah uh, i'll show you, but you know what i mean uh, what's also incredible, guys, is uh, again, people create, artists create and tell the truth in various forms. So in, in tetragrammaton, uh, like we just uh, devised within the word, just take a look at Da Vinci's Last Supper. Uh, that's, that's the word. That's creation. That, that has everything that we just decoded within that word, within that painting. So within a simple painting, you, you will have uh, the heart of all of these words decoded for us as as well. It's all there. All of the physical shapes um, are there, and the colors and the reference points. They're they're all there. All talking about the creation, the father, the mother, the birth of the child, the the regenerated man. It, it's all there. It's so we can we can create in in a myriad of ways 
um, and it's it's brilliant. That's 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 God's creation. It's brilliant. Do you know what what's going to warp my mind now, Brother Charlie and Sister Karen, is if I asked Josh to spell out um, to do with my Italian Greek surname, then the family name. I don't I need a mask or to hide who I am. I have no ego. Um, I have an ego. I believe it's under control, but because of the the law that we do, the trust, um, the language, the phonics, the alphabet, and the, uh, the, the you know the historical lineage we found with the deep based language, um, Jeremita um, is uh, is 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 quite good letters in, and it's quite close to Gematria. And I didn't know about Gematria until a year ago, and I've been doing this line of work for about ten years, Charlie. And uh, when I said, "What what do you mean, Gematria?" and I looked into it, and it's to do with ciphers. The picture, Da Vinci, da Vinci cipher code within a code. Um, you have language, a, a book there with Santos taught me about the the layers within a story, context, text, and subtext. And ah, so uh, yes, uh, Jeremita, Golf, Indigo, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha, Mikey, Indigo, Tango, Alpha is the is the spelling. Nine letters, Jeremita, close to Geometria, and with what I've learned from Josh. It kind of uh, it makes you just uh, is it an accident? Is it by design? Is it you know uh, I, I got into this accidentally um, through fighting for access to my property, and uh, now I find that I'm involved in some kind of divine plan of which uh, I don't know. You know, do we have choice? Is it what's going on? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Holly, Karen, and Patricia. When, when you said yeah. When you said philosopher, I like to share because that's phonetically um, it, it, it's it's the cipher to lose phi, okay? The phi loss cipher, the philosopher, and I know how it's spelt, but it, it's got no relevance to anything spelling. Is how it's phonetically sounding, how it's reverberating from our reverberator. So the philosopher or the philosopher's stone. If you look in the word stone, you'll see again. A sine wave tone or a sine wave physical one or a sine wave vibration end in the ether so what we need to understand is that the philosophers or the philosophies that have been left for us is actually for us to, to, to lose to defy and that's why you defy gravity and the difficult is the defy cult and what we need to do is actually put our time and energy and investigate and if we look at the word investigate we should invest in the I gate. I being the feminine. Invest your time in the gate of the feminine. And when you investigate, you will find this. Did you, uh, um, you said someone said create as well. And you know, Rhea's area and eight is a reciprocating from light creating. So you uh, create to create is to see the area of the eight, which is this. And the reason why 18 is R, and R phonetically sounds like our, because R creates structure, because it's nine times two. This creates the by board of two Taurus, yeah? So, sorry, I really lose my trail of thought because it goes so much faster to me when I'm writing down. Um, create. No, I've lost it, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, no, no, uh, that's that's brilliant because again, what you're what you're going to show is is the hourglass of of the you know the Taurus field, and you know oh, the other yeah. thing that's incredible about about two times nine, which is eighteen. Eighteen in Hebrew is also the representation of chi, which is the energy of life, which is the electromagnetic ether, and the electromagnetic ether, uh, you know, it is the double Taurus field as well, and one plus eight is nine. Um, so no, every, everything you're saying is, is perfect, perfect. It ties in perfectly. So the symbology of 18, if you see that you just move the one across the plane of inertia and you see the full Taurus, yeah? Exactly, exactly. There you go. And then you said chi, is it, that how you spoke chi? It is, that it reminds, is. Sorry, that reminds me of an Egyptian hieroglyph. Go back, Josh, back right to that shape with the eight with the line. I've seen that somewhere in some hieroglyphs, I'm sure. All right. That's the, well, uh, come on, yeah, look at this. Symbology, pictographs, cuneiform, 
<laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> it's the onk. The onk. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell it is yet? Go on, sorry. Bless you. Bless you, brother. And if, you, that's what it... if you go to the far east, what we're also then now looking at is through the philosophy of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is not this martial art that, that we've, been, we, we've been lied to. Um, uh, it is a philosophy of, of life. And, and Tai Chi is about, literally, is, is meaning achieving homeostasis, balance. So Tai Chi is also that same image, David, that you were just referring to, the eternal yeah. line between it. Because what we are is the, is the eternally evergreen pine tree in perfect balance between our spiritual mind above and the physical mother below. So the line that you see in the middle, which is the one, which is 18, we're just looking at 18 again, is the separation between two worlds in perfectly in the middle, which is showing the balance, the homeostasis, which is our whole purpose in life, to achieve balance between these two worlds, the physical and the metaphysical world. And, and that's the only way we're ever gonna get back to uh, perfection with God in the Eastern Garden, Garden of Eden, achieving this homeostasis. That is the essence of the philosophy of Tai Chi. And that symbol that Josh just drew there is the perfect uh, representation of the evergreen pine tree in perfect stasis between two worlds. Beautiful. Wow. And it's Beautiful, mate. What a good interaction that was. Wow. Wow. So I was going to say that chi as well is to see the vibration of the feminine. And the feminine is the energy, the feminine, you know? Yeah. We'll, we'll state it within that word. And as you were speaking, sine wave peaking, you were peaking your sine wave, creating reverberations. Um, I thought I'd write down the Solomon. And we have, we have King Solomon. And if you see that this is the, the, the K in G, or the balance in G, G being the red, and the K feminine end in G, which is the wave, you have Solomon, which is the sun and moon, solo mon, which everybody's the individual on their solo, but the sun and moon, the red, the blue, this needs to be in perfect balance. And at the center of this all, die and the, the most important thing that we can do and it sounds hey, there very has to be some reason why we're called sun and moon family united yeah we're called sun and moon family united it makes perfect and you had that little reciprocating on the on the video didn't you when you used to start them off <laughs> there had to be a reason then didn't there there you go and Josh, you've got the word chi and king there. Could you have a chi king <laughs> chicken? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't take a sentient's life to consume myself for an extra day. <laughs> and, and a quick comment to, uh, to David. You know, David, there are, there are no accidents. Uh, your name is not an accident. What you've been doing for the last year, 10 years, is, is not an accident. There are no coincidences and there are no accidents accidents there are callings we we so many many are called but few answer what's what's really clear just just from what karen is is saying with the sun and moon family united which is which is homeostasis the whole purpose of of why we exist why we're here um there's no accident there there are no coincidences you've been called and brilliantly speaking about you the individual um you've answered the call and few and many are called and few answer the call. And it's, this is what it's about. It's about answering the call and then doing our best. The best that we can is what this is all about. So kudos to all of you uh, for answering the call and doing so well. So for some well. of us though, how can you not, I don't know, you, you, you feel it, you hear it. For some of us, it's just there, isn't it? The calling, yeah. whatever it is, it's there, it's in you, it is you. I think yeah, so. Um, Can uh, I just yeah. say one thing? I hope Patricia, I hope Patricia's there. Patricia hasn't said anything on this hangout. 
She's been really quiet. So, Patricia, if you're there, can you say something? <laughs> Patricia, I'm what here. do you think of this evening? I'm here. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. I mean, it does go over my top of my head a bit, but I just love, you know, how you're all coming together and finding all these synchronicities. I mean, me and Karen talk about synchronicities, don't we? And um, it's like, uh, it's just amazing. And I've still got to digest it and sort of put it into practice, I suppose. You know, like meditating. Don't be writing out down. What are you writing down, Josh? <laughs> Lovely thing. Lovely thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd write down a few words that I was thinking of at the time. It wasn't what you were really saying, but um, they're good ones Placenta. to share with people. Placenta, where Placenta, did that come yeah. from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just being a woo man. If you look at the word placenta, where does everybody enter? Where is the place you enter? You're born under contracts, contractions in the hospital ward, uh, yeah, in the mum's womb, but you're crowned and burned. From the in the centre. place. In the place. Uh, that's in it. The place centre is the place you enter. Oh. Place centre. Place centre. Sony place yeah. centre. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And uh, there was another one that I sort of, I kind of seen the other day and I thought it was really funny. If you look at the word sinuses, yeah, and our sinuses flush out all the uh, pathogens, let's say, and this is when they get involved, you'll see sin use or sin uses. So the sinuses get activated when sins are in use, eating bad food, chemicals around you, etc., etc. And everything's always hidden in plain sight. And it's very funny to see because once we can decode this reality, it becomes just more and more um, fabricated by the day, you know, and you can really see what's going on. Yeah, it does, Josh. And, you know, I'm so glad that you brought up placenta. Uh, I want you I want everyone to really, really think about this, because um, what takes place? David was was talking about it, uh, about all of this aggressive language that they create about about birthing and you know the placenta is 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 the place that we enter and it it is so beautiful and if you look at modern medicine and the modern hospital and the treatment of the birth of of the the child through the mother what they do is they attack the placenta and soon as uh, the child is born they quickly um, clamp off uh, the umbilical cord uh, from the child to the placenta, and then as fast as humanly possible, they will sever uh, the umbilical cord um, from the newborn child uh, to the placenta. They, they absolutely know what's at stake here and the power and the beauty within the place that we enter, the place that we come from, the placenta. And they want, they want us to have nothing to do with this. And that's why they sever this as quickly as possible. And, and again, if you're, if you're fortunate enough to be born <clears throat> through um, at home through a... Um, uh, you know, a, um, what's the term I'm looking for? The midwives. Um, the natural. Yeah, exactly. Natural, natural. And, uh, they will leave the, uh, the baby, uh, the baby's umbilical cord attached to the placenta until it falls off and, and just allowing all of that, those sacred secretions, the wisdom, the power that exists within the place that we enter to enter within us. And this is what makes us strong. This is what makes us wise. This is what makes us live for long, long periods of time. Um, and, and that's why they, they sever it. This, this is a, an ugly physical reality that attacks the middle way that Buddha talked about, the ease and the flow of nature. Mm -hmm. I, definitely I, didn't agree with that. I didn't get a chance to say thank you to Charlie back for when he said about my name. I've been kind of waiting for a chance just to nip in and say, Thank you, brother. That meant a lot um, for back then, what you said about the calling. Yes, yeah? so I've been waiting patiently to say thanks. So um, I'm energised by that and back at you all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, David. All right. Not sure. You can see the word surprise. 
hidden in the word surprise oh, is the thank biggest you, David. surprise you will ever get. <laughs> Again, Josh, thank you. You're a welcome sister, <laughs> Josh. Again, what do I you said hid, hidden, hidden in the word surprise is the biggest surprise you will ever get. You can see the serp rise when your serpent rises, but really it's the sine wave of your light will rise. Okay? And this is the surprise, the serpent rising. Oh, I wanted to share the word Superman because Superman is just the sine wave upper man. And he's wow. attached himself to the other sine wave. He has an upper sine wave, which is the Z sine wave, which is the longitudinal wave. And he's attached himself to it. Now he's super. Wow. And, and think about that, Josh. That, that was their first superhero that they unveiled to, to us. And his kryptonite was green, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, when we look at the word lived, we see in reverse is the devil. But really, the devil is just evil. It's just an evil form or form of evil. To live is to be a, was a live form. Um, but I'm really ready to, to sort of write a, a dictionary, but I know that I'm not in a position to be able to do it. Um, I'd like to say currently I'm in a process of trying to acquire, like, many, many, many acres, hectares of land so I can start a foundation where we can plant thousands and thousands and thousands of fruit trees and become fully self-sufficient, grow our own medicine and grow everything. And then when we're there, we're going to have a place that anybody who is on this journey is welcome to come. They can, they can welcome me. They can join me uh, in an abundant life of creating and manifesting. And uh, once we've done this, we'll all get ourselves to a dipolarized state and then we can master this realm and really restore the balance here on earth before we choose to die. Um, and die being not death. And did I share the difference between dying and death through language or no. not? Show that, please show that. So if we, if we write down, where am I? Let me get a rubber. So we did the word die, which is the form of the feminine. This being nine, this being form or four. Yeah. Now death, D is to remove. A is the alpha. T is a physical. And H is the vibration. So to remove the alpha's physical vibration is death. But to die is to become a form of the feminine. And that's the difference between death and dying. Well, which is a massive difference because, because again, uh, the form of the feminine, once again, is magnetism. And magnetism, again, these are scalar, longitudinal, eternal waves. Eternal. Yeah. So you understand when we see the word Zion, being the Z-ion, it just rings so many bells for you, yeah? Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's almost like, you know when you put water into a, a copper um, vessel and it changes the atomic uh, structure of the water into a more beneficial um, composition body. for the body? What, what we're learning to do and you're learning to do and we're going to, you know, uh, overall mankind will learn through the language is, uh, is to heal thyself through through this, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, it's like a remolecularization of the same letters, but a different way, you know, and with a different understanding, overstanding, whatever, king standing position, the author with the authority, um, autonomously, AU again, the power's returning. It's like, a, I feel, I see, you know, the return of something beautiful indeed. <laughs> Are you? Brilliant, David, and again, AU gold, gold again, alchemical. Everything is alchemical. Yeah. <laughs> Life is, is not this physical journey, it is an alchemical journey and it's golden. Which is the, the goal of our form. And our goal is our go all. It's God with an L. Uh, gold, God with an L as well, though. L, God, gold, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfecto. 
And obviously beautiful is to be gold and tied full of it. So to be tied full of gold is beautiful. That, that is gorgeous. That is, <laughs> that is a beautiful... <laughs> wow. You know, I, I have, I'm not wanting to go immediately, but I do need to write. What, what are you lot saying? Are you wanting to go for more? or? <laughs> been about three well, hours karen how are you karen are you okay <laughs> it's been it's been three hours nearly we've been going i mean it doesn't mean you can't have another hangout and it doesn't mean that you can't talk to each other i mean we probably should think about ending now yeah yeah uh, aren't yeah. you all tired and oh, no, actually it's, it's really uh it's been really great and Let i me know just say that tired. charlie's love this haven't you charlie oh. Tied to the red. I don't want the blame for ending this. I just thought poor sister Karen has been here three hours, and you know, I just thought I'd mention it. Now I'm going to be the one that ended it, but I don't want to go and end it. I just thought, yeah, sorry. Just uh, I love to carry on as well, but not now. Yeah, I, I am tired. Well, T Y T Y. You can't talk. You can talk for a bit more if 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 Josh and Charlie want to talk for a bit more after the after I press the stop button. But we can just finish the recording, yeah? Well, I, yeah. Uh, I have to get back to... I want to hear what uh, Josh is that has okay? last words. But, um, I'm sorry, he, my, my phone is delayed. What I was just going to say, Karen, and just to let Josh and David know, what, what Colleen and I are running here in Mexico, we, we, we sold everything and we live in the middle of, of nowhere in, uh, in a beautiful, beautiful high mountainous valley. We're surrounded by you know, enormous fields of, of uh, beautiful crops. And um, what, we're, what we're working towards is what you talked about too, Josh. Uh, so we're, we're self-sufficient here and we run an animal rescue sanctuary. We have uh, 45 animals that we've now rescued and uh, they're, they're our family. And, um, you know, we, we are working towards what, what you talked about as well, which is acquiring even more land and then just making it free for whomever wants to take any of this seriously and come here and, um, and get busy with, uh, with eternally living and changing this reality. So, uh, and to that end, that's one of the reasons I have to get going because the, the animals need it to be a bad <laughs> Beautiful, Glenn, mate. Well, that's amazing. And I hope we can hmm. stay in touch. I hope we can stay in touch. I just want to say, bless you, Charlie. That sounds like you're doing a great. I'll pass your emails on. Yes. Fantastic. I'm looking let's forward to it. Let's keep relaying. Thank you, Charlie, for spending that time with us as well. Oh, you're so welcome. Gosh. Thank you, Charlie. If you look at the word relations, you'll see relay physical ions. Let's keep relaying physical ions, eh? <laughs> Back and yes, forth. I'm tired. Isn't tired spelt with a Y? T Y R for a for a horsey or a car, isn't Yay. it? Tired. Yeah. <laughs> tired, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. But yes, tied to the red, the red shift, the lower energy. So Charlie, you've got to you've got to leave as well now then. I do. We've got so so much to do because we're running running running. Sorry, out of... I'm delayed. That's okay. This has been this has been amazing. This is what this what this is all about is uh, meeting beautiful people and uh, brilliant people like yourselves and um, uh, this this is magical so thank you all of you thank you so very much thank you it's brilliant well it's been a pleasure to meet you charlie and um thank you thank Santos. You, charlie. You. absolute pleasure should we end it all now then should we say goodbye to everybody can i just say then should we say goodbye to the recording but we'll say goodbye yeah. when I finish the recording, yeah? And we can all say goodbye that way. Okay, so I'm delayed. I'm very sorry about that. But for the recording, thank you so much. Santos, Charlie, Patricia, Josh, David. Thank you so much. I really love that. We love thank you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> much love, Tom. Patricia? I don't see her coming. I don't see her coming. Oh, Love you all. All right, for the recording, we're going to turn it off now. Thank you so much, everybody. Really enjoyed that. Great, great hangout.